on, people? Welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV, back with another live watch along. One of the biggest watch alongs possibly ever on this channel, people. Arsenal against Bayern Munich, Champions League quarter final, first leg at the Emirates. This is it, man. It's go time. I'm nervous. I feel like I'm playing. I might need to, um, you know, go for a jog and a stretch before kickoff just to loosen up a little bit. But hey, here we are. All the, all the build-up since the Champions League draw, this is it now. Show people what you're about. This could be a season-defining game for Arsenal Football Club because I, I just think with Arsenal, a big result like kind of spearheads us on. If we lose a big game, I feel like it has such a damaging effect on us. So this is a huge, huge game for Arsenal Football Club. That is for sure. Hope you're all well. Listen... The like, to, we're looking for 4,000 likes tonight. No messing around. Hit the like button, share the content, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get this party started, people, right? We're on the roller coaster of emotion tonight, and we ain't coming off till this game finishes. Um, let's talk about the teams. This is what matters at the end of the day. It's about those guys on the pitch. Um, shout out the bold zone. They have a good shit. Yeah, man. I gave them a little super chat. Big up the guys on AFTV. All right. Amaru says 5k like 5k likes him. We're going 5k. I ain't messing around tonight. This is the Champions League quarterfinal, people. What are you waiting for? Now, big up the boldies on AFTV. They're doing a good job, man. Big them up. Big them up. Looking forward to the tour in the summer. Let's talk the lineup. No messing around, people. Let's talk the lineup. The nervous toilet number two people are having. Uh, 10K likes. Wow. As, listen, 5K minimum. 5K. Arsenal starting 11. Let's go. David Raya in goal. We knew that was going to happen, of course. Right back, Ben White. Two centre backs, Gabriel, William Saliba. Left back, Jakob Kivior. Listen, I'm not going to listen. We're going to speak it into existence. The Kiwi hopefully is ripe. Let's hope he handles business. Kivior against Leroy, Leroy Sane. Pray to somebody, people. Pray to somebody. Big up Anthony Williams is on his way to the game. Kivior versus Sane. We're going to need some help from above for that one. I'm not going to lie, people. That, that makes me nervous. The midfield. Jorginho gets the nod ahead of Thomas Partey. I didn't think he was going to go with Partey just simply because... Is he fit enough? But, you know, it is what it is. Um, Jorginho, Rice and Odegaard is the midfield. The front three. Saka, Martinelli... And Havertz. I am genuinely shocked at that. Not because I don't agree with it. The front three is the front three that I would have played. Usually, the player that does the press conference with the manager starts the game. The player that did the press conference was Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus is on the bench. Big up JAFC. It's his 23rd birthday today. Praying for a win, of course. Um, listen, I want to know your thoughts and opinions on the team Kivior at left back against Leroy Sané. What is your opinion? I, I said on the preview on AFTV, on my own preview, I would have played Tommy Asu 100%. Um, but he goes with Jakob Kivior. He goes with Kivior. And listen, man, that is a big decision. And he is going to have to perform tonight. Uh, in midfield, I, I said if fit, I would have gone for part A. But maybe he hasn't played enough football yet. And he goes with uh, with Jorginho for his experience. And uh, I'm just glad Martinelli's playing. Um, Curtis, apparently Jesus tweaked something in the warm-up. Let me have a look at that. I, I need to see this. Has he actually? Because um, I, I, usually the player that does the press conference is playing. Look, Jesus is feeling confident. He's done a whole interview. Well, He's done an interview with TNT Sports and everything. It's crazy. Um... I mean, I can't see anything. Uh, maybe, maybe he did. I'm sure we'll find out as the, as the show progresses. Um, the front three I'm delighted with. Absolutely delighted. I felt Martinelli needed to start tonight. His speed, in my opinion, can damage uh, Bayern Munich. And I think he's at Kimmich, who's going to play it right back. So, uh, yeah, listen, the team, am I surprised? Not really. Not really. It is what it is. 
And um, listen, let's, ju let's just do the business. The Arsenal bench, Ramsdale, Hein, Tommy Asu, Fabio Vieira, Zinchenko, El Nenny, Partey, Smithrow, Trossard, Nelson, and Ketia, and Gabriel Jesus. Um, let me edit that because I think I've wrote El Nenny's name down twice. Uh, so good they named him twice, people. Um, let me take him off there. And uh, he's only on there once. One El Nen is enough, people, that's for sure. Um, we're going to talk the Bayern Munich team, though. And there are some positives. A couple of negatives, but there are some positives. And um, there are players in that lineup that need to be exploited tonight, that is for sure. And we're going to talk about them in more detail. So let's go through the Bayern Munich lineup. Uh, Neuer returns in goal. Um... Thomas Tuchel playing mind games. Oh, Coman's not fit. Sané's not fit. Neuer's not fit. They all return for this game. So Neuer's in goal. But he is an aging Neuer. Um, the back four. Kimmich plays at right back. Alfonso Davis at left back. This is where they need to be got at. This centre back pairing is Delict, who I think is overrated. Didn't do the business at Juventus. Hasn't done the business at Bayern Munich. And Eric Dyer. I mean... I used to call him Eric Diarrhea at Tottenham. You know, that's because that's basically the level that I think he is as a player. We need to rip Eric Dyer to shreds. He was rubbish at Tottenham. And I've never rated the guy. We Kai Havertz, please, mate. Rip this guy apart. They are not keeping a clean sheet against us tonight. I'm telling you. Eric Diarrhea at centre-back. With Delict. Watch what we do to the... Yo, like Mike Tyson in the first round in Vegas. Right hooks, left hooks and the uppercut people, I'm telling you. We're, yo, Eric Dyer. I want to know who Eric Dyer's agent is. How we got that move, I really do. Uh, Their midfield, Conrad Lehmer, Leon Goretzka and Musiala. Oh, Musiala. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Their front four, as, as, as Mourinho says, respect, respect. Their front four is the danger. Their front four is the concern. Leroy Sané on the right. Serge Gnabry on the left. Musiala in the 10. Harry Kane up front. you got to defend properly tonight. We're going to have to go to another level. Trust me. They're going to... I think there'll be goals in this game, by the way. I think there will be goals. Uh, their front four is serious. Musiala talking about leaving. Um, on the bench, Peretz, Ulrich, Kim Min Jae, Kingsley Coman, Chupo Moting. What an agent he's got. Brian, Guerrero, uh, Thomas Muller. I think I've put Mullet um, instead of Muller. Uh, Mateus Tell, Pavlovich, and Mazroy, Mas Mas is it? Uh, forgive me, I probably butchered his name, but yeah, you know I'm on about anyway. Um, I'm really surprised at that, to be honest. I thought Kim Min Jae and Upper Makano would probably be their centre back pairing. I have been reading that uh, Thomas Tuchel has basically turned on, uh, turned his back on Upper Makano after the red cards. He's been getting a lot of criticism from the fans over there. So I did maybe think that Upper Makano would get left out. Um, but I am surprised that Eric Dyer is playing. I thought he was purely signed as cover. Not somebody to start in the Champions League quarterfinal against Arsenal. So listen, it's all there to play for. Um, and listen, they've got quality on the bench. Tell is very good. Kingsley Coman is a live wire. And um, obviously Thomas Muller has a great experience. Um, Thomas Muller, Muller Rice. Um, but listen, we've got quality on our bench. Thomas Partey, Gabriel Jesus, Trossard, Smith Rowe. We've got players there that can change the game as well. Um, anyway, we have got about 45 minutes until kickoff. 45 minutes until kickoff. Um, let's get some, uh, let's get a couple of tweets out. Kivior against Sane. Worries me. But we need to exploit Eric Dyer, who is trash. Right, there we go. We're going to talk more. We've got plenty of time before the game starts. So uh, 
you know, get yourself a drink, get your dinner sorted, get yourself a comfy chair, hit the like button, subscribe, and do the damn thing, people. Because when this game kicks off, boy, it's going to be serious. How big is this game in Arsenal's recent history? It's absolutely massive. We're going to put a name. We're looking for 2,000 likes before this game even starts. No messing around. 2K before kickoff, people. Let's do the damn thing. Uh, anyone who's going to the game tonight, be careful. I don't know if you guys have seen some threats of uh, trouble down there tonight. So anyone who is going to the game, you know, be on your P's and Q's. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a great atmosphere. 60,000 Arsenal fans inside the stadium. Although I was told yesterday that UEFA have around 3,000 tickets to this game. And apparently... Um, some of the tickets from UEFA have gone to Bayern Munich fans. So don't be surprised if there's maybe one or 2,000 Bayern Munich fans inside that stadium. Um, because from what I'm hearing, UEFA have dropped some of them tickets into the hands of Bayern Munich fans. So uh, you still may have a small section of uh, fans there inside that stadium. Uh, big up anyway. We're already on 850 likes. 45 minutes till kickoff. Let's get to 2,000 before kickoff. Uh, we have got a few things to talk about before we... Uh, yeah, brown envelope settings, man. UEFA and all of that business. Um, let me get into your super chats and then we'll talk about a few stories. Drunk Short says, come on, you gunners. Big up. Let's do this. Massive game. Big up Christian Harkness, who's gifted one Curtis Shaw TV membership. If we get to 2,000 before kickoff, I'll gift out five, five memberships before kickoff. Uh, good energy, good vibes, people. Uh, Guna Pot Pie said, All I want for my birthday today is a 3 0 win. Happy birthday to you. We'd all take a 3 0 win. Is that 21 Savage and Arteta in your picture? Uh, ambient guitar music going for 3 0. Oh, boy. If it's 3 0, uh, I'll be at the Emirates after the game if we win 3 0 tonight. I tell you that. Odin Play says, uh, Big up my brother. Uh, my nerves can't take this. Let me tell you something. This is what I want to say to all the Arsenal fans tonight who are nervous, who are anxious. We're all in the same category. I feel the same. Um, what's worse? Playing a big game against Newcastle, trying to get top four, Callum Wilson's tooth hanging out and ending up finishing fifth. Or playing Bayern Munich in a Champions League quarterfinal on a Tuesday night at the Emirates to potentially play Real Madrid or Manchester City. This is the kind of nerves that we want. That was nerves to achieve something that isn't even that great. You might be more nervous for this game, but these are the nerves that we want. I want to feel nervous because we're potentially trying to get into a Champions League semi-final. I don't want to be nervous because Callum Wilson's front tooth's hanging out while he scores... While Nuno Tavares is running around like a, a headless chicken, and we can't even get top four. Embrace these nerves. These nerves mean something is going right at this football club. Embrace them, enjoy them, and if it all goes wrong, Arsenal Therapy 2pm tomorrow. But hopefully that show is cancelled for good. Uh, big up my bro Broads in the chat. He said, big up yourself, my bro. I'm absolutely buzzing for tonight's game. This is a monster game. It really is. I feel like I'm playing. I genuinely, like, I'm I might just put shin pads on while I do the watch along and put my football boots on. Like, I'll two foot the sofa. Um, it's that kind of night, people. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'll put DP on. I'll put, um, what did, uh, what did Vieira used to put? Vicks. I'll put Vicks on my chest like Vieira. I'm telling you, I'll just two foot the sofa tonight. I'm not messing around. And, and just and just elbow the TV if I have to. We need some more red stripe. I need a whole crate tonight, people. I'm telling you. Not that I'm promoting drinking, of course not. I am, I'm actually drinking um, KA Black Grape in here at the moment. So, no, we're not promoting drinking. Odin Plays has gifted five Curtis Shaw TV memberships. Big up your damn self, bro. Appreciate that. Welcome to the new members. Marco said, big up yourself, Big C. Let's do this. Come on, you gunners. Come on. The house is getting shouted down tonight. As somebody said in the chat, my neighbour's a massive Real Madrid fan. He's always shouting. I said to him, I'm going to be loud tonight. I realised they've got Man City at the same time as us, which is a shame that they've put them games on at the same time because I'd like to watch that. I might have to put it on the, the phone screen 
because I want to see Vinicius cooking City as well. This Bayern team has Tottenham written all over him, said Ulrich. I hope so. I'd love a bit of Spursy feeling. Uh, Peely said, how good is it to be back here in the quarterfinals, Curtis? Bro, it's been too long and we are on form. Let's smash those ex-Spurs rejects. I wish Claude was here to see this. He'll be looking down, bro. I would have loved to have seen Claude see this Arsenal team um, on their way back up, man. But listen, we'll, we'll handle business. I'm sure he's watching somewhere. Adibayo said, Big C, don't you think Bayern have a better front three? Listen, bet yeah, their front four is better than ours on paper. But let me tell you something, Adibayo. You don't win football matches on paper. Paper's never won a football match. Well, unless you spend a lot of paper on a top player, then it does. 150, no, I won't mention 115 charges, Man City. It sounds salty. But yeah, you don't win football games on paper, my friend. They're 16 points behind Leverkusen. Something ain't right. It looks good on paper. It isn't working in reality. Would Eric Dyer even get on Arsenal's bench tonight? Genuine question. Because the if a centre-back got injured tonight, we'd bring on Tommy Asu. Tommy Asu's better than Eric Dyer. Eric Dyer wouldn't be on the Arsenal bench. He starts tonight for, for Bayern Munich. Go and expose Eric Dyer. I don't care how good their team looks on paper. Sadiq said, when we win, DR Sports hate along's in trouble. Yeah, man. Big up. Big up X and um and KG. Uh, War Sam said, double watch along tonight. Listen, I'm gonna, I've got my phone here. So what I'm probably gonna do, I'm gonna put Real Madrid on that screen. I gotta see it. Like, I've got to have that there accessible to me in case something happens. So Madrid City as well. Uh Coburn said, uh, big up big C, very nervous. We need it done. Here, listen, Coburn, big up to you, bro. Member for nine months. Let's get something clear. In my opinion, this isn't fact, it's my opinion. If Arsenal are going to win this tie over two legs, we need to beat Bayern Munich tonight. Bayern Munich need to lose this game tonight at the Emirates. They need to come here tonight and lose. Go back to Germany with a defeat. If we draw... Or lose tonight, we're in trouble. The Allianz is a fortress in the Champions League. It's a tough atmosphere. We need to win this game tonight. I feel when we played Porto, Arteta played the first game with the thought process of the second game. Now, maybe that's different because we played away and away from home. Yeah, you go away, you draw, you bring them back and you beat them. When you play at home first, totally different. you got to win. They got no away fans. You have to win the game and then protect your lead when you go to Germany. 100%. Overpowered shots. Big C, wash your tips to stay calm. Speaking in front of three 6K people watching. You know, to me, bro, the number, I don't, it's like when I played football in front of a few thousand people. I, you don't, like when I see the number on the screen, you know, there's 4,000 people live. To me, I'm just chilling. With, with the community watching the game. I don't really think, oh, my days, there's thousands of people watching. Don't say anything wrong. I'm chilling. I'm literally leaning back in my chair right now. Relax. The heating's on. I'm drinking a KA. I'm watching the football. I'm just chilling with my mates. It's just vibes. It's like being in the front room. I don't even think about the numbers. It's great that the numbers are there, but I just... We're chilling here, people. Community settings, you know. We've hit over 1K likes already. Big up. Legends. Tonight's going to be legendary one way or another. Let me tell you. Lean back like Fat Joe, bro. I'm in the Bronx. Leaning back. Speaking of hip-hop, J. Cole. J. Cole. J. Cole put pressure on light-skinned guys right now. I feel under pressure because of what J. Cole's just done. He put pressure... On the light skin community, man. My, like, if you're a hip hop fan, you're right there. What's that? You apologized. You dissed him, then apologized. Said, I don't want the smoke with Kendrick. You put all kinds of pressure on light skin brothers right now, bro. I'm walking down the street. They look. J. Cole apologized. I'm going to sound old now, people. I'm going to sound old. And I don't want to encourage violence in hip hop. It isn't good for the for the music or the culture. But I grew up on 50 and 
Tupac and Eminem and Busta Rhymes and this guy made a diss track and apologised. All kinds of pressure on light skin brothers right now. Kendrick, you just went up in my estimation. Cole, you went down in my estimation, bro. Uh, there won't be no biscuit talk tonight. The game will be too edgy for biscuit talk. That is for sure, people. Imagine 50 Cent apology. I mean, can you imagine Tupac doing hit him up then saying, yo, biggie, mate, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to say that about your wife. Ah, oh, come on, man. Anyway, hip-hop's changed, I suppose. It's the modern generation in it, so I suppose I should embrace it. Um... Danette said, we have been waiting for this game for a dec decade. See Unit Live or Die together tonight. Join in that lineup tonight besides the TV. Oh, mate, we've waited years for this. Years to watch a game. All of the... Sorry. You know who I'm going to mention. Dundalk. Sorry, Dundalk. They're the first team that comes to mind. All the Thursday night, 5.30 kickoffs. Dundalks and um, Bodo Glimpse. All that pain and watching teams and I'm writing the team lineup. I'm like, I've never heard of that guy. Never heard of him. This guy's a plumber. He's an electrician. He delivers the milk. He works in the local shop. All for this. Tuesday nights. I'm recording EastEnders. Watch it on catch up later. Phil Mitchell settings. And I'm watching the Champions League. No more. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, it was like Stockholm Syndrome. It was like Money Heist. I was held hostage that long by the Europa League. I started to enjoy it. It was Stockholm Syndrome. I started to think that Thursday nights in the Europa League was good. Because I just didn't realise I was caught in a trap. I'm caught in a trap. I can't walk out. Because I, I, who sings that? Is that Elvis Presley? I don't know what's going on. I'm all over the place. We need more Red Stripe! But you know what I'm saying? I was singing Europa League song, enjoying it. I couldn't believe it. Sat here 10 minutes away from Dundalk. I might go and watch a Dundalk game at some stage, just as a, a sign of respect. Because I feel I've disrespected them a long time. But they're the first team that pops into my head when I think about the Europa League. We've had some tough nights. Uh, there was rumours, by the way... Um, that Kim Kardashian was coming to the game tonight. Arsenal fans were panicking. Oh, no, not Kardashian. Apparently, she's a bad luck charm, isn't she? She came to sport in Lisbon last year. We got knocked out that night. Uh, apparently, she hasn't arrived and isn't coming to the game. So, great news. No Kim Kardashian in the Emirates tonight. We don't need no bad luck. Um, yeah, the Kardashian curse. Keep her away, man. You've seen what she did to Kanye, so... Yeah, man. Um, yeah, we don't want her anywhere near the Emirates. Uh, so, yeah, it is what it is. Um, 4,000 of you locked in already, people. Great support. Looking forward to this game. We are 35 minutes until kickoff. And uh, this is going to be one of the biggest games in our recent history. Big up Ronnie in the chat. Hope you're well, bro. It's a disgrace. The man said, Kane, you better relax. You see how we deal with Kane. He's a Tottenham fan as well. He's oh, absolute disgrace. Kim K is a modern day empress, powerful woman. Yeah, so powerful she caused us to lose. Maybe she distracted. We got a young team. They haven't seen women like that before. So yeah, we don't need her at the stadium. We don't need her there. Kim K, go support City. Exactly. Plastic booty, plastic football team. Anyway, the less said about that, the better. She says it's real, but. I don't believe her, do you? Uh, nah. Anyway, um, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, right, couple of things to talk about before we concentrate on the game. If I speak, I'm in big, big trouble, people. I don't want to get in big, big trouble. Um, right, Douglas Louise links today, people. Uh, we'll get the little bit. You know, there's always some transfer speculation, so we we uh, we get into that quickly. A uh, big story today. <laughs> about Douglas Louise joining Arsenal this summer. Apparently, Arsenal are very interested in bringing him into the club for two reasons. Um, number one is that um, Mikel Arteta worked with him when he was at Manchester City. He was in the reserves at City when he was a coach there. And also, Edu worked with him with the Brazilian national team 
obviously when he was the uh, the glorified travel agent for the Brazil. No disrespect, Edu. You are a cool guy. Um, but yeah, being linked. Aston Villa apparently could be in financial difficulty this summer. May have to re uh, sell somebody to balance the books. They're two most likely are Ollie Watkins and Douglas Louise. The rumours are, you know, Watkins, four-year deal, and no way he will be sold. Douglas Louise could be the one to go. And uh, apparently they would take around 70 million for him. Do you think he's worth that much? E. Ross said I'd rather bring in Alicia Lehman. That's his missus, right? She plays for Villa, don't she? Um, listen, I think Douglas Louise is a good player. I do. I think he's improved a lot in the last year. We were linked with him at the start of last season. I wasn't convinced by him then. I think he's a good player. He's become a lot more attacking this season. He's not necessarily a DM. 31 games this season, 9 goals and 5 assists. He's had a good season. 14 goal contributions. Um, people saying get the odd man Bailey. I'd take Leon Bailey, you know, as cover for Saka. He would actually challenge Saka. I agree with you, Christopher. I think 50, 60 million would be um, the sort of numbers that I'd be looking at. People saying RIP to DMX. I think it's three years to the day. Can't forget the Dark Man X. What a rapper. Listen, I'll be honest. I would take Douglas Louise. I would try and get him a little bit lower than 70 million. I would take him. 25 years of age. Takes penalties. Takes free kicks. Takes corners. Brazilian international. Nine goals, five assists playing for Aston Villa. 31 games played this season in the league. So... He's played in every single game this season. Last season, 37 games. He only missed one. That was through suspension, red card. Year before, 34 games, one suspension. So he only missed three games. He's missed three games through injury in three seasons. He's had two red cards. That have so listen, his, his injury record is impeccable. He's actually suspended for the weekend against Arsenal for 10 yellow cards, uh, which leads to a ban. I'll be honest, probably wouldn't be at the top of my list, but I would take him. I would take him. I think he's getting better and better. Douglas Louise and um, Declan Rice with Odegaard, I think that'd be a good midfield. And um, listen, he's Prem proven. He's 25. He would be very good. The only problem you're going to have, again, is... He signed a four-year deal last season. He's only on 75 grand a week, which for Arsenal, I mean, Cedric's on 70 grand a week. So Arsenal could easily drop 140 grand on his a week on him and double his wages. So listen, I think he'd be a very good signing for Arsenal. I would take him, try and get him a little bit cheaper. What do you guys think about Douglas Louise? Would you take him? Um... But yeah, we'll have to see on that one. Um, DJ said, what's your opinion on Liao? He's been linked today with us. Well, you've gone a bit too quick there, bro, because I was going to talk about that in a minute, but we will talk about it. Listen, I'm a big fan of Liao. I'm a big fan of him. The problem you've got and the problem you've always had is what do you do with Martinelli if you sign Liao? Are we benching Martinelli for Liao? And then you've got Trossard, Leal, Martinelli on the right. So let's go to the next story. Arsenal being linked with Rafael Leal. I mean, oh, he would look good in that kit. I can't lie. He's a beast. He's quick. Um, but where do you play him and how much is he going to cost? Again, signed a new contract last year. Apparently has a release clause of close to £100 million. So for me... I'm going to be honest, if I'm being realistic, if I'm thinking with my football manager head, yeah, buy him. But if I'm being realistic, we can't afford to spend £100 million on a left winger this summer. We need a striker. We need a centre midfielder. We're going to need a right winger. We might need another goalkeeper. We might need another defender. I mean, hey, some people at South London, I've seen a few people say this, convert him to a striker. I've seen a lot of stories before where people have said, listen, with his height and his pace, somebody needs to turn him into a striker. But 
Would you risk spending a hundred million pound on a winger to play him up front in the hope that it works? Listen, it worked with Thierry Henry, but Thierry Henry cost ten million pounds. Didn't cost a hundred. Six goals, eight assists this season. He's not having a great season in terms of numbers. Last year, fifteen goals, eight assists. He did have a better season last year. Um, I like him. I just don't think it's realistic. You're right. We risked sixty-five million on twenty-nine. You are right there. Um, apparently played centre forward as a kid. Yeah, or could you turn Martinelli into the striker? That's a good point. And play Liao on the wing. Listen, very exciting player. And uh, like Salman said, I think you're spot on with that. If we sell our Deadwood properly, then we can spend even more money. But that's ifs, buts and maybes, you know. We we don't often do it. By Liao and Jokerez. I mean, Liao, you're looking at 100, Jokerez maybe 80, let's say you got a centre mid like Douglas Louise. we could be out of money already, we still haven't bought, a, I don't know, I don't know, I don't think we'll go for him, I don't think it's realistic, I do agree with you though, you know, if you sell Nketiah for 20 plus million, you sell Ramsdale for 30 plus, you sell maybe Fabio Vieira for 15, 20, you sell Tavares for 5, you sell Lekonga for 12 to 14 maybe, he's had a good season, the club can make a hundred million in player sales if they do their job properly. But yeah, Liao, I like him. Exciting player. Personally, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take the chance. I, I'd get what we need first, and if there's enough money left over, then you can look for that kind of signing. But go and get me the striker. Go and get me the centre mid, and um, then maybe we can have that sort of conversation. Louise for 70 million or Kimmich, even Barella. I mean, listen, I want Barella. I want Fafana from Monaco. I'd take Kimmich, but what worries me as well about Kimmich, if Kimmich is that good in midfield, why do Bayern keep playing him at right back and playing Lamer in midfield ahead of him? Is that an indication that maybe Kimmich's legs are going a little bit? When a player's legs are going, the one concern is... You don't want to sign a midfielder who might be toning it down a little bit and bringing him to the Premier League. You look at Casemiro. 18 months ago, one of the best DMs on the planet. 18 months later, looks like he should be collecting his pension. Do you know what I mean? That's what the Premier League does to you. I would t I would personally... Uh, people saying too cool tax. It could be. I'm a big fan of uh, Barella. But the fact that Barella's going to win the league... Would that would he leave or not? That's the problem. But big up Coburn. Um, George Gunnar said, a tidy player, but should be aiming higher. Fair enough. And Gunnar Roller said, I see Liao and think Martinelli at home. Uh, am I wrong? Uh, Martinelli. Oh, okay, fair enough. Liao, to me, is a bit of a highlights real player. I've watched him a few times because I do like him as a player. Some games you watch him, he just goes missing. He's just off it. And then other games, he's electric, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Geordie said, win the double and get Killian. Listen, I tried with Killian. Happy Eid Mubrak to people celebrating. Big up. Happy Eid, people. Um, Cormac said, Curtis, did you hear Liverpool have new manager signed up from Lisbon? Yeah, is it a Nori or something? Good manager, but who knows? You never know with them kind of managers, do you? How are they going to do in the Premier League? What's his name? Ruben Am Amarim. Listen, the thing now, would Liverpool get Diamande? Would Liverpool go for Jokeres? Because you would think some of them players might go with the manager, which often happens. You know, we saw that when, um, when Jorginho went to Chelsea. He was supposed to go to Man City. And then um, the manager went to Chelsea and uh, Jorginho went with him. But I don't know. Apparently, he does play five at the back, which would be interesting at Liverpool. I'm not sure how that would work. Um, Liao, he doesn't work hard enough, says Tyson. Trading. Um, yeah, and, and that's something you have to do in this system with Mikel Arteta. Big up on that, bro. Don said, Curtis, I've just got to the gym. Too nervous to watch the game. Wow, big up, Don. Big up Dom, man. Boy with the Box said, what's good, Big C? Uh, how come you're hiding the merch you bought from the Armoury earlier to make your video? Do you know what? I'm going to keep it 100. I went in the Armoury. There wasn't a lot there. They've got a sale on. And um, 
there wasn't much there, to be honest. It was a lot of sale items and uh, there weren't many sizes of things. And one of the guys in there was saying to me, what happens? Obviously, when you get to about May, the new home kit comes out for the last game of the season. The new training kit comes out around it. So he was like, to be honest, wait four or five weeks and you'll get the new home kit and you'll get all the new training kit. So there wasn't a lot in there for me to buy, to be honest. Uh, I did look, though. I won't lie. I'll be totally honest with you. Um, somebody just said, oh, the blue hoodie's looking clean. Appreciate it, bro. Um, and Matt said, good seeing you on AFTV today. You're a lot taller than I thought. Hey, man, appreciate it. I think I'm, what, 6'2", six, 6'3"? Six, Not that big. Uh, get the likes up to 2,000 pre-match. I will have a check-in on that. Somebody just said in the comments here, apologies. Are we getting a watch-along tomorrow? Um, yeah, there's a plan for me. I will be doing PSG against Barca. We'll also obviously put Atletico Dortmund on the phone. However, however, if tonight went horribly wrong... There ain't no watch along. I, that, like, I'm, I'm keeping it 100. If if things went horribly wrong tonight, I ain't going anywhere near um, a Champions League game. But I don't expect that to happen. So, yeah, I will be live 7.30. PSG against Barcelona will be the main game. And Bappe, listen, do you know what? On AFTV in the comments, they come for me. Oh, you asked Arteta about Mbappe. The question needed to be asked, I'll tell you. We need to aim that high. What people don't understand... I know Arsenal are not signing Kylian Mbappe. I didn't really ask the question for Arteta to say, we're going to sign Mbappe. I asked the question to kind of make people aware that that's the level that this football club should be aiming for. Listen, he might reject us and go to Real Madrid. It's fine. It's Real Madrid. I understand that. But my thing is, the mentality of Arsenal football club should be, we need a striker. We've got one of the richest owners in Europe. In terms of European clubs, I mean, I know he's from America. And Kylian Mbappe is a free transfer. Why are we not in the race for him as a football club? Whether you can't get him, I want to at least be the guy in lane eight in the 100 metres who's not going to win a medal, but gets a personal best. I want to be in the race. And that's where I'm at with it. And Fab retweeted it. Listen, I remember after that happened, we all sat down, all the guys who were there, me, Robbie and everyone. And you know what Robbie said? He said, um, he said, number one, I respect you asking that question. He says, number two, that question got more traction than any other question that was in that press conference. And you got guys there from Sky Sports, TNT Sports. Oh, what's the fitness like of Part A and things like that? I went, Mikel, do you think we could go for Mbappe? And he said, bro. Fabrizio just tweeted it. It's got 7 million views. And that's the aim of the game in content creation, I'm afraid. I could have gone in there and said some stupid basic question. Now, listen, we didn't get the answer that we wanted because, to be fair, I should have structured the question differently. Um, but don't worry. We will be there again this summer, people. We'll go again. That was just a jab. This summer, it'll be the check hook. Don't worry. Uh, if you don't buy a ticket, you cannot win the lottery. Exactly, people. Exactly. We keep it moving. We keep it moving. Hope to see a lot of the community on tour this summer as well. We'll be in America again this summer, so big up, man. Uh, anyway, let's get into some of your comments. Hypothetical question, Curtis. If we beat Bayern, beat Real Madrid in the semis, gone to win the Champions League and the Prem, do you think Mbappe would consider us? Won't be too cold in England then. Um... I don't think he I don't think he would. I think he would in terms of like wow they they're at the level that I would go to. But I think he just wants Madrid. Madrid's his dream move and I think he would still go Madrid. Plus would the Cronkays pay the wages? Would the Cronkays pay the wages? I just don't know. Uh going to Philly, I'll be in Philly people. All being well running up the steps like Rocky Balboa. My respect for Curtis, man. Big up. Hey, big up, bro. I, I thought I'd explain that because people often say, why did you ask him about Mbappe? And that was my reasoning. It wasn't because I thought Arteta was going to say, yeah, we're going to buy him. I, I want the mindset of the fans and the club to be different. If we need a striker, go for this guy. If we need a centre-back, go for the top one that's available. But anyway, 
Uh, Bucky Jr. just found the channel. Happy to be here. Big up, big up all the long-time subscribers. Big up all the ones who've just arrived. Community settings, vibe settings, and uh, tonight's going to be crazy. If you're listening on headphones, just be careful with that volume because I will re I will be reacting in a major, major way to anything that happens here tonight. It's serious. It is serious, people. Uh, anyone from abroad looking for a stream? Some people were asking for links in the comments. Feel free to put a link in there um, and share it around uh, for people who are looking for the game. Hit the like button. Snake Eyes, big up Big C in the community. I would like to organize a C unit meet or when you come to the US. Bro, hit me up. You got, Hit my email. Let's get it sorted. LA or Philly. There's a big rumor that they're going to play in Vegas. Let's get a C unit get together. Uh, we can do it. Anybody, listen, if anybody lives in LA, Philly or Vegas, maybe you've got a contact for a venue, a bar or a community center or something like that. And we hit me up, TV at hotmail.com. Drop me an email. Let's get something sorted out. I'll try and get some of the AFTV boys to come, Robbie and that. And we'll just, we'll just, we'll organize. We can organize something. We'll do it. Hit me up, people. Um, Vegas, LA, Philly. That looks like the three cities they're going to do, but they haven't actually announced Vegas yet. Uh, any ideas? Anything? Hit me up on the email and we'll do something. Don't go to parties in LA. In LA did he, Mike? <laughs> oh, listen, man. <laughs> you don't need to say that to me, bro. Don't worry. Uh, hotmail. Yeah, Hotmail. I'm old school, but I told you. No Gmail. Hotmail. I'm old school. Like Blackberry Messenger, like LimeWire, like MySpace, like Tamagotchi's people. Old school in here, people. Uh, big C unit taking America. Yeah, man, we're going to sort something. We're definitely going to sort something. Uh, Cormac said the Live Score app shows the games for free. There you go. So, anybody looking? Tom said, Big up, Curtis. I'll probably be in Philly. My family's from there. I'll get you sorted on the best cheesesteak. Yeah, man, Philly cheesesteaks, bro. Let's do it. Yeah, man, but hit me up. Hit me up. It'll meet me. Nah, nah, listen. Do you know what's sad, yeah? Meat Mill was a rapper that I really liked. Um, but with all this Diddy thing, man, I've had to, you know, had to kind of delete some tunes off the um, off the playlist, unfortunately. But yeah, man, used to pray for times like this. And, you know, we all love them tracks. But hey, here's what it is. Um... Fraser said, I'm two hours from Philly. If something gets organized, I'll make the trip. There you go. Big up. And I'll bring the coffee mugs, LSU. Don't worry. I'll bring the coffee mugs. Um, Taken said, I'm listening at work in Canada. Who needs a dodgy street? No, don't take a chance. I'll get you through this, bro. Just make sure the headphones aren't too loud. It could get loud. Right. Um, let's look ahead. Anyway. Wow. 14 minutes until kickoff. The nerves are kicking in. I can't lie, people. This is Arsenal against Bayern Munich. Like, do you understand what we are about to watch? This is going to be crazy. We've waited a long time for this. The last time we played Bayern, we got absolutely battered. It was ridiculous. We're actually turning up tonight saying, we can beat these, right? We can, and we can beat these tonight. Listen, as I said, Sporting um, game last year, we weren't at full strength. There were a lot of people going, yeah, but you lost to Sporting. I said, bro, Europa League, you rotate. This is different. We need to beat Bayern Munich tonight. I believe for Arsenal to go through to the next round, we've got to win the home leg. Let's go over the Arsenal team. As I said, David Rea in goal. Ben White at right back. Kivior at left back. That one, I mean, listen, if I was picking the team... I wouldn't have done that, but listen, he needs to do the business. He needs to do the business up against Leroy Sané. It's going to be a tough game, but we've got to believe in him. The manager obviously believes in him. Um, Gabriel and Saliba at centre-back. Jorginho gets the nod in midfield. I did say on my preview yesterday, I would have played Tommy Asu at left-back. I would have played Partey at centre-back, and I would have played Martinelli on the left. I understand with Partey, he might not be quite match fit enough for a game of this level and intensity. But he's gone with Jorginho in midfield, Declan Rice and Odegaard. And then the front three is Saka, Martinelli and Havertz. And that is the front three I would have picked. 
Because Kimmich at right back, I feel Martinelli will cause him all sorts of problems. And uh, his pace is just vital to us. And I'm so glad that he's back. We've been a bit concerned since he's had this uh, foot injury at Sheffield United. Was the injury worse than we thought? So, listen, big night for Jakob Kivior. And he's going to need help from Martinelli on that left-hand side. And uh, listen, let, let's see how it goes. Um, on the bench, Aaron Ramsdale, Hein, Tomiyasu, Fabio Vieira, Zinchenko, Elneny, Partey, Smithrow, Trossard, Nelson, and Ketia, and Gabriel Jesus. I mean, it's a good bench. It's a good bench, man. Trossard, Smithrow, Partey, you know, um, Tomiyasu, Jesus. There's players that can come and influence this game from the bench. So I've got no problem with that bench. It's a big night for Kai Havertz. We've been singing his praises for a number of weeks. He's been getting green screens. Oh, part A in centre mid, sorry, not centre back. He's been getting green screens and all sorts of hype. Um, this is a big game. Bayern Munich tried to sign him in the summer on loan. They didn't get the deal done. Former Leverkusen player. He needs to prove it in these kind of occasions. Bakayo Saka, listen. This game doesn't define Saka, but... There was a debate for a long time, is Saka world-class or not? Is he better than Foden? Is he better than Palmer? Is he this? Is he that? Top players turn up in the big occasions. That is how you go to that next level. Score goals, you do well. Biggest game, give me the ball. I'm the man. I will win this game for us. You've seen it. Big games. Thierry Henry running from the halfway line. Perez bending it in. Burkamp doing magic. Even a, a Bamiang FA Cup final, give me the ball. I'll dink it over the keeper and win it. Saka against Alfonso Davis tonight. Whew. Now, let me get one thing clear. Davis can be got. Don't think because he's got 97 pace on FIFA that he's some sort of Ashley Cole. He can be got. I saw Sancho twisting and turning this guy the other week. So, But he's rapid. He, his recovery is unbelievable. You're going to have to prove yourself tonight. The two centre-backs for Bayern Munich. They've got Neuer in goal, Kimmich at right-back, Davis at left-back, Eric Dyer and De Ligt at centre-back. We have got to punish that central defensive pairing. Eric Dyer, in my opinion, is a poor centre-back. He's slow. What he is, he's physical. He can win his headers. But I used to call him Eric Dyer here at Tottenham. I think he's awful. And... Um, how do you get benched at Tottenham and end up starting at Bayern Munich in a Champions League quarterfinal? And even De Ligt, I've said it before, Arsenal have been linked with De Ligt. I think he's overrated. I thought he did really well at Ajax. He goes to Italy, didn't do the business, got rid of him quick. This talk of Bayern Munich selling him, I think he's got to be got at as well. He's not the quickest. They need to be got at. In midfield, Lehmann's decent, Goretzka's decent, but again, I think, you know, Odegaard. Martin Odegaard, my friend, tonight, listen, I think there was an eclipse yesterday or the day before, was it? There was an eclipse. We need solar panel Odegaard. So we need solar God. He is vital. Prince just said Odegaard is the key to us winning this game. He's the key. He needs to be like the chief creator tonight. Give me the ball. Don't be hiding. And that front three, I'm so happy that he's picked that front three. Saka, Martinelli, Havertz, let's do this. Uh, yeah, so the full Bayern Munich team, Neuer in goal, Kimmich at right back, Alfonso Davis at left back, and uh, De Ligt and Eric Dyer at centre back. They can definitely be got at, by the way. Um, the midfield, Conrad Lehmann, Leon Goretzka, and Musiala in the 10 role. Leroy Sané on the right. Serge Gnabry, former Arsenal player, on the left. And Harry Kane through the middle. Former Arsenal youth team player. Arsenal fan. And former Tottenham striker. On the bench, Peretz, Ulrich, Kim Min Jae, Komen, Chupo Moting, Brian, Guerrero, Muller, Tell, Pavlovich, and Mazzori. Um. Tommy said, yo, I had an eclipse yesterday too. I couldn't get to watch it. At least I'll get to watch something more exciting. Exactly. Let's eclipse Bayern Munich, you know. If there's any world-class players in both teams, they'll make themselves known. Exactly. It's not about the talking. 
Step forward and show yourselves tonight, people. Eight minutes until kickoff. This is it now, people. Countdown to kickoff. Champions League quarterfinal first leg. The atmosphere looks incredible. The noise. Just it look if you're inside that stadium tonight, you're lucky, honestly. It's gonna I'm hoping it's gonna be an epic occasion. 1.5k likes. We're nearly there, people. Let's get to 2k likes before kickoff. Hit the like button. Nearly 5,000 of you in the chat. There's no excuse. You walk up to the nightclub, they say, listen, mate, you got any ID? You know what I mean? You show your ID. This is the entrance fee tonight. Just caress the like button. Takes you two seconds. It's free. YouTube loves it. The more likes, the more they share it. It's just the way it goes. If we hit 2K likes, I'll gift out five memberships before kickoff. Good energy. Positive energy, people. Um, the players will be coming in the tunnel shortly. Uh, he has got a good record against Thomas Tuchel. And um, he's going to have to continue it tonight. Thomas Tuchel under a... He is under pressure, but then is he not under pressure? Because this is the only competition that he can win this season. But he knows he's leaving at the end of the season. So he might actually be a bit more relaxed. Um, Joey Costa said, Big up, Curtis. Saw the preview earlier. Heard that dog in the background. It was a sign. DMX settings. Bro, anyone watch the preview today? As I'm doing the preview, this dog runs by and starts barking. I thought it was win the dog. But maybe DMX, man. Darkman X settings. Uh, big up the legend himself. Rest in peace, DMX. One of my favorite rappers. Views from the bit said, uh, League or Champions League? I don't think we'll do both. If you gave me one, I take... Listen, I want both. But if you offered me one, I take this one. I take the star above the badge. It takes us to another level. But yeah, ideally we want both. Sam said, big, uh, big up Big C, this is a huge game for the club. A chance to put one foot into the semi-finals. The team has matured very well. I believe we will win 3-2. I hope so. Well, I'd like more. Lucky deal. I'm new on here and love your watch-alongs. Thank you very much for tuning in and joining the community. Um, should be a vibe. Hype said, big up Curtis and the community member for seven months. David, been in a trap since 06, but win the Champions League and get a star Plus the cash, you're right, bro. And Mills, Liao release clause, 175 million euros. Wow. And then he's having a go at us about Arsenal. No Champions Leagues. Listen, let's change all that. Let's change all that. Man said P. Diddy the likes. Take that, take that. <laughs> Listen, we, we can't be doing that. Uh, here we go. Players are in the tunnel. They are walking onto the pitch. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. The roller coaster. We are about to get on it, strap in. It's going to be a long night, people. It is going to be a long night, hopefully an enjoyable one and hopefully an epic one. The players coming onto the pitch. Champions League music about to play. This is what it's all about, man. Look at this. Honestly, this is unbelievable what you're about to watch. This is not a normal game of football. Embrace this game. Look at this. this is what it's all about. These are the champions. I don't know the words, but you just go along with me, people. In Da, 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 da. We're all in the league. The champions. Da, 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 da. Come on! Come on, man! Come on! Let's do this! Let's do this, man! Are you mad? We've waited over 10 years for this. This is going to be carnage. Arsenal against Bayern Munich at the Emirates. Are you crazy? This ain't normal. This is a massive game. We got to go for them. Bro, tonight. This is mad. This is mad. Now, I don't know the words, Champions League words. You just got to mumble it. As long as you know, then it is what it is. Come on! This is the team. David Raya in goal. Ben White at right back. Kivior at left back. Gabriel and Saliba at centre back. Midfield, Jorginho, Rice, Odegaard. Front three, Saka, Martinelli and Havertz. Bayern Munich team, Neuer in goal. Kimmich at right back. Alfonso Davis at left back. 
Eric Dyer at centre-back with De Ligt. Conrad Lehmer, Leon Goretzka and Musiala in midfield. Sané, Gnabry and Kane is the front three. Listen, you've got to damage their defence because their front line is it's serious. But listen, it obviously isn't that serious because they're 16 points behind Leverkusen with Granit Xhaka. So we've got to defend like monsters tonight. We really do. Keep them out. And what I want to see from Arsenal tonight is if we do go 1-0 up, I don't want to see Arsenal sit back and, and just accept 1-0. I'm convinced we have to beat them tonight in this home game. Curtis, are you confident? I am, but I'm nervous because it's Arsenal. I don't know what's going to happen. I've seen Arsenal this season alone. I've seen Arsenal beat Manchester City, the best team on the planet. I've also seen Arsenal lose to Fulham. So that's the problem with Arsenal. They're capable of doing anything, you know, and that's that's the issue. That's the issue. Um, two minutes until kickoff. <laughs> it's gonna be serious. It's gonna. Cruz predicted two nil. You going two nil? He predicted two nil to Arsenal. Neuer's first game in twenty four days. Listen, Neuer's been one of the best goalkeepers in the world for a long time. He's. I would like to think he's not the same Neuer that he was. Years ago when we played. I mean, Neuer is now... He's 38 years of age. It doesn't matter how good you are. At 38, you're not going to be the same player that you've been over the years. You just, It's not possible. So, yeah, we, we've got to we got to test him. We've got to shoot constantly and put him under pressure. Uh, right, people. I'm going to do the change of screen as we get into the game. Let's go. Oh, that is a beautiful transition, that. And here we go, people. We are underway. Champions League quarterfinal. Arsenal against Bayern Munich. Big up, Matt. 29th birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Matt. We are underway. I can barely watch it. I actually don't. I can hardly watch the screen. Come on! Let's do this. Did we hit 2K likes pre-kickoff? I will hand out memberships if we did. Are we on 2K? Um, let me open it up. Did we hit, we hit 2,000 likes? I am a man of my word. Let me gift out five memberships to the community. Absolute legends. Uh, where are we? Membership gifting. Bang. There we go. Five memberships. Legends, each and every one of you. There we go. Five memberships. Bang. No messing around. Ball goes out for a goal kick. David Raya collects it. Let's do this. Yeah, that transition's decent, isn't it? I like the transition. Listen, it's about to get serious, people. It is about to get serious. We love playing this short goal kick, don't we? Um, although there, David Reyes smashes it long up the up the pitch. Dyer wins the header there above uh, Havertz. Go on! Put him under pressure. Havertz pressing. Forces them back to Neuer. I like this press. I noticed every time... We did this the other week. Every time the ball went towards their left back... Oh, here come Bayern. Musiala. Gnabry's making the run. Keep an eye on him. We're going to have to work hard tonight, man. They've got some dangerous players on the pitch. Jazz, thank you for the one membership. Is Leroy Sané up against Martinelli. Cuts inside. He's all left foot. You've got to stop that cross. It's flicked up in the air. Kane nods it on. It's cleared away. Boy, you can just tell, can't you? They've got quality when they're on the ball. Here's Odegaard. Wow, this is going to be a long night at the office. I can just... You can feel it when they're on the ball that they're dangerous. Sané... I would have loved Sané at Arsenal, you know. Always a player that I've rated. Um, interesting. They're not really pressing us when we have the ball in defence, though, so... I think with the likes of Kane and players like that, he's not really a high-press kind of striker, is he? So we may have a little bit of time on the ball in defence. Um, keep us updated with the Real Madrid City game as well. I've got it on the phone, but there's a bit of a delay. Um, Arsenal in possession. Gabriel Magales. We need to split their defence open. They do. They've got top quality, but we have to back our quality. Declan Rice's top quality. Saliba's top quality. You know? 
City have scored already. Two minutes. City have scored. Unbelievable. Wow. I think it's Bernardo Silva. That is incredible. That's why I said I'd rather play Real Madrid. Oh, my days. Bernardo. What is the goalkeeper doing? Who's that? Loonin. He's a loony tune. That is shocking. Bernardo Silva, free kick, round the wall. Keeper gets his hand on it, goes in. No Courtois. Absolutely shocking. Right, we're back to the Arsenal game. 1-0 to City after two minutes. Leroy Sané up against Kivior. Cuts inside. Don't foul him. Come on, Deckers. I want you to stop him there, bro. Here come Bayern. Musiala. Davis on the overlap. Up against Saka. You know he's all left foot, bro. You know, look at this. Don't let him go on his left. Musiala, oh, jeez. Declan Rice waving a leg around there. Davis, you can just feel when they're on the ball that you know there's quality there. It does feel a bit nerve-wracking when they attack. But we need to remain calm. We need to remain calm. Ball over the top. Looking for Musiala. Saka has to track him. Musiala keeps it in. Left-hand side. Up against Saka. London boy originally was at Chelsea. Bayern keeping the ball. Davis. They're strong out wide, man. That is where they're strong. Davis and Gnabry is one hell of a left-hand side. And then you've got Kimmich and, and Leroy Sané. Good work there, though, by Havertz. Good pressing. Come on! Yes, here we go. Throw into Arsenal. Good work. Eric Dyer has a heavy touch. Many suspect. Yeah, I heard. Um, I heard that Madrid are playing a bit of a different team in terms of um, their defense or something. Somebody was saying their defense is a bit patched up. Yeah, Chuameni's playing centre back. Somebody said, and he's on a yellow card already. Which yeah, yeah, they've got Chuameni at centre back next to Rudiger. So yeah, their um, their defense is patched up. You're on a yellow card that early against Haaland. Ain't good. Here's Serge Gnabry. Bayern Munich dominating possession. Well, listen. I don't mind if they dominate possession as long as we uh, can win the game. Neuer plays it out. One thing you can tell with Bayern, they're very comfortable on the ball. They're not being rushed. We need to... Neuer kicks it long. Can we get that? Come on, come on, come on. Yes, Saliba. Move it. Don't. There we go. Nice and calm. Arsenal have the ball back. Come on. Let's grow into the game. Martin Odegaard finds Saka up against Alfonso Davis. The one thing that's very hot, see there, Ben White gets caught. Musiala, but it's a throw into Arsenal. One thing you are not going to do very often is run Alfonso Davis in a straight line and outpace him. You've got to twist and turn him the way that Sancho was doing a couple of weeks ago. Ben White with the throw, looking for Havertz, loses the header. Another throw-in. Can we take it quick? Have we got an option? Move for him. Move. Come and get the ball. You're hiding, Odegaard. It's impossible for him to give it you. No. Come and get it. Throws it. Looking for Havertz. Havertz flicks it on. Declan Rice. Oh, loose ball's cleared. What's that offside to Arsenal? Silly. We haven't settled in yet. We haven't settled. Bayern look like they've settled quicker than us. We've got to look after the ball. Here we go. Havertz. Havertz finds Odegaard. Martinelli, edge of the area. Shoots with his left foot. Oh, just wide from Martinelli. Come on. Unlucky there, Martinelli. Good play by Saka. Cuts out the pass from Eric Dyer. Havertz gives it to Odegaard. Finds Martinelli, left foot. And you know what? If that was on target... I think Neuer would have struggled to have got there. Didn't move at all. That's what you got to do. He's 38 years of age. We've got to test him. Arsenal win the ball back. Saliba has it just inside the Arsenal half. Test Neuer as much as you can. We all hold Neuer in high regard, but he's 38. Saka fouled by Alfonso Davis. Barges him in the back there. And listen, play smart. Try and get him booked. If he does that a couple more times, get on the ref and get him a yellow card. He's not going to be the same if he gets a booking. 
Free kick to Arsenal, just over the halfway line. Odegaard looking for Ben White, over hits it. Poor pass goes out for a goal kick to Bayern. Is it? Oh, it's alright. Um, it's alright. That noise. Um, Neuer is 38. We need to test him. Yeah, hundred percent. Here is Neuer being pressed. Long ball over the top. Good play by Arsenal there. Press that Bayern defence. Force them to go long. And then we can cause... Ref! Foul on Saka again by Davis. Yes, I spoke it into existence. What did I say? If Davis does that one or two more times, get him booked. Alfonso Davis, yellow card after eight minutes. Same foul again. Runs into the back of him. I have the Arsenal one if you want. I'll get, I've got another, I'll get another one. Um, and he misses the next match as well. Yes! Yellow card. Yellow card for Davis. Saka needs to cook him. And he is suspended. That is brilliant. Listen, I spoke it. What did I say? Saka got fouled. Said he does that one or two more times. Get him booked. He books him after eight minutes. And he misses the next leg. Come on. We're going to beat him. We are going to win this game. We're growing into it. Free kick to Arsenal. Over by the touchline. Nine minutes gone. Taken short. Here's Odegaard. Oh, first touch. Find Saka. Now you've got to get at Davis, bro. Sticks a leg out. Anything can happen. Get him sent off. Odegaard finds Declan Rice. Get on the ball. Enjoy the ball. Don't hide. Everyone's got to want the ball. Ben White clips it over the top. Looking for Martinelli. Can he keep that in? Ah, Gabby. No. Hits. Oh, play on. The ref didn't give it. Martinelli gets a byline. Ah, it's poor. It's got to do better than that. Got to do better than that. In the tight spaces there, you've got to find a way to get a crossing. Goal kick to Bayern Munich. Much better few minutes spell there for Arsenal. Still nil, still one nil to Man City over Real Madrid. Ten minutes gone. Manuel Neuer kicks it long. I think him going long is good for us because Gnabry and Sane are not amazing in the air. So I'd expect us to win the ball. Here's Gabriel Magalhaes, and what you notice, Kane isn't really pressing that much either. Probably trying to conserve his energy. Jorge said we look the part. Guys seem locked in, they have to. The, the concentration levels you need in games like this is a next level. You can't switch off for one second. Arsenal in possession. We're definitely settling into the game now, which is nice. Um, is Martin Odegaard, right-hand side. That Conrad Lamer's pressing Odegaard every time he gets the ball. That's obviously a plan. They, see, they probably know that he's the key as well to the game. Here's Odegaard. Bit more space now. We need movement. He needs movement. Saka. Odegaard. Keep the ball. Make them run after it a little bit. That guy D said, we want 4K likes by half time. Here's Saka. Heavy touch. Oh, he nearly got there. Good play, Havertz. Ben White. Find Saka. Edge of the air. Saka score! Bakayo Saka score! Bakayo Saka score! Starboy Saka! Come on! Makes it 1 0 to Arsenal! Yes! Yes! Come on! Let's go! Saka! Yes! Come on! 1 0 to Arsenal! Saka bends it into the bottom corner! What a finish that is! Yes! Come on! Come here! Get in! Saka gets the better of David! What you got, Arsenal Prime? Yes, sir. Yo. Yeah. That was Prime Arsenal there. Yeah. Saka. Burkayo. Saka. Running down the wing. Saka. Oh, my days. What a finish. Bends it round Eric Dyer. Bottom corner. Neuer's got no chance. What yeah. a goal. Oh, my days. We said he's got to step up. That is how you step up.
Sako, you absolute legend. Might go Nando's to celebrate. Get the Saka sauce. Oh, my days. Sako, you beauty. Unbelievable. Real Madrid have equalised, apparently, against Man City at the same time. Who's that who scored? Deflection. Don't know who it is. Oh, wow. Can't believe it. Oh, um, Camavinga scored. Baller. 1-0 to Arsenal, people. I can't believe what's happening. We're out here. Big up Chloe with a super sticker. Concept. Let's go again. Brook the neck. Let's get the second. Let's get the second goal. Don't stop. Don't stop. We do not want 1-0. We can beat these tonight 2 or 3-0. Wow. Saka. Listen, I defended him on um, the stream on... what? Who did we play last? Brighton. If you was involved in that watch-along, I spent about two or three minutes before the game defending that guy, saying, listen, all these comparisons, this guy's a baller. We've got to defend properly. Kivior wins the header. Well done. Keep the ball. Well done, Gabby. Don't take chances, David Raya. Jeez, man. Yo, don't play the ball in the air. Keep it on the floor. We keep the ball, though. Come on, you gunners. Come on. We've got them. We've got them now. Don't let them off the ropes like a boxer. You've got to keep punching. Don't let them breathe in this game. Eric Dyer, oh, he's rubbish, mate. Rubbish. Spurs effect. Wow, Madrid have scored again. Ala Madrid. I'm glad. I want them to beat City. Rodrigo. These men are too saucy for City, bro. Let me see the goal. Oh, he's, oh look how high their defense is. Rodrigo, too quick. Is that Kyle Walker? Akanji. Megged him. Bit of a lucky goal. Rodrigo, 2-1 to Real Madrid. Unbelievable. 1 0 up, City. Ala Madrid! Wow. This is unbelievable. Let's, let's do our job, though. Jorge said we need to attack through Saka, Dyer, and Davis. Listen, you got to look at their back four now, right? Alfonso Davis on a yellow card. You Go on! Go on! Ben White! Yeah! Ben White! What a miss! What a miss! One on one with Neuer, he hits it straight at him. You literally put it the worst place you could have put it. Was he offside? Oh, I think he was on. I can't believe it. Just smash it, bro. Why are you side footing it for? Should have scored. Ben White, one on one with Neuer, hit it straight at him. 10, 12 yards out. How do you not make him make a good save at least? He hit it straight at him. I can't believe he's just done that. If he has to tip that wide at full stretch, I'll accept it. You can't... You can't do that. That's an awful miss, man. It fell to the wrong person. You don't want that falling to your right back. You've got to score that, though, you know. You can't, like... That's a huge chance in a game like this. Oh, it fell to the wrong person, man. Come on, stop all this split-screen business, man. Saliba in possession. We should be 2-0 up. I can't believe it. I thought Ben White might score that, you know. He's got decent technique. He scored against Sheffield United. Smash it across goal into the bottom corner. Anyway, it's a great start. Jorginho in possession. Come on, Havertz. Well done. Good. Get up, Jorginho. There's nothing wrong with you, mate. There's nothing wrong with him. Martinelli up against Kimmich. Finds Kivior. Move it. Good. Havertz, keep the ball. I love the way we're playing. we got to score again, though. Odegaard. Saka's there. Overhits the pass a little bit. Just win a corner off Davis. Hold him up. Yeah, man. Ben White, give it to him. Ah, oh, nutmeg. Oh, Saka loses it. Odegaard, little nutmeg on Lamar. Got to win it. Yes, given away. They're all... David Ray again, your goal. What are you doing there? G no, what is that, Gabby? Gabriel gives it away. Musiala, chance. 
Chance for Bayern, they've equalised! It's Serge Gnabry! Absolute donuts! David Reyes fault. Should have stayed on his line, Gabriel could have given him the ball. Pathetic! Absolutely, that's, uh, that's the problem. Absolutely ridiculous! That is a shambles! How are you giving the ball away there? Why is David Rea running to the halfway line? He needs to pass you the ball. Gabby gives it to Kivior. Kivior can't reach it. Oh, you're a shambles track. Ben White, mate, you got to... Oh, it's ridiculous. This is the fine margins. They will punish you. That goal is absolutely shambolic. It's a shambles. I believe Raya's at fault at the start, and then it just... Oh, he gets nutmegged. Shambolic goal to concede. I can't believe it. Here we go. Saka shoots his block. Absolute shocker. I can't tell you how bad that goal is that we've just conceded. It's so bad. Martinelli shot blocked. Bayern didn't look like scoring in this game and we've just handed them a goal. I can't believe it. I'm so annoyed, man. Ruined it. Absolutely ruined it. Just allowed them back into the game for no reason. To be fair, they punished as well. It's a great move through ball, but a bit disrespectful from Ganabri to do the celebration. It came through our system as well. I'm so annoyed. I can't believe it. I'm blaming Raya. I'm sorry. Should Kivir have got the pass or was it a bad pass from Gabriel? I don't know, but the initial fault for me is Raya. Gabriel's got the ball, bro. He needs to see his goalkeeper on the edge of the box and just roll it to him. Because David Ray is running towards him, he tries to turn down the line, tries to play it to Kivior. The pass isn't great. Kivior can't reach it. And then we just get split apart. It's an absolute shocking goal. Such a bad goal. And this is what I'm saying. When we score, we have to earn the goal. Other teams, we hand them goals. They, they look like they might not even score tonight. Anyway, let's refocus. It is what it is. You could say Gabriel's pass to Kivior wasn't good enough. You could say Kivior should have got the ball. I don't know. We've got a... I suppose we're just back to square one. There's no away goals in the Champions League, so... It is what it is. Oh, so fuming. Rice whips the free kick in. We need to get the hype back. It is what it is. We're just back to square one. The, the Saka goal's been cancelled. we still got to take the positives that we can beat them. They don't look great at the back. Come on. Come on. Here's Martinelli. He's got support from Gabriel. Oh, we slowed it down. I can't believe... Yeah, no, I can't believe... Martinelli whips in the cross. Head off straight at the goalkeeper from uh, Kivio. You see what I mean, people? In big Champions League games... Ben White is one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper to make it 2-0. And three minutes later, it's 1-1. One -one. Ah, free kick. Free kick to Arsenal, Harry Kane. Uh, yeah, I do. I mean, I'm trying to get the hype back. I've, I suppose I've just got to get back to it's nil-nil and no one scored. I would still be hyped. But because we were 1-0 up, I didn't even really get a lot of time to enjoy the fact we were 1-0 up because they equalised so quick. Such a poor goal. If they earned the goal and did something quality, you can, you can sort of just deal with it. But we just handed it to them on a plate. It's a ridiculous goal. But anyway, let's go again. 22 minutes, Jorginho, poor pass. Gnabry, come on! What is that? Woof, naughty challenge, that throw into Arsenal. 
Listen, the players can't afford to be deflated. We're basically back to nil-nil. And Alfonso's on a yellow. We've got to keep running at him. As much as he's still a great uh, player. Jorginho struggling. Don't foul him. Don't foul him, Saliba. Why do so many defenders do that? He's got his back to goal. Honestly, I don't know what the commentator is saying, but this is Raya's fault. What's he? Why is he there? He needs to roll it to you, but you're not there. How does Kivio not get it? There's no reaction. Declan Rice, you don't track the runner. Ben White, you're on the right. You don't get their cross quick enough. It's, it's three or four people's fault there. Honestly, where you could have dealt with that. But Rayo, why is he running right next to Gabriel when he's got the ball? Well, you could all see he was getting the ball. But listen, it is what it is. It's happened. Uh, Danette said, everybody take a breath and hold back now to win in ways. We have to. Aye, Gabriel Martinelli, man! Lift your head! Again, he's playing with his head down. It's Bayern Munich. You ain't going to get that much time on the ball. Uh-oh. Here's Alfonso Davis. Finds Kimmich. It's crazy how... At 1-0, I'm going, we can win this 3-0. Now at 1-1, I'm like, Phew, anything could happen here. There's so many mistakes in that goal, it's unbelievable. Raya doesn't need to go so far up the pitch. Gabriel's pass should be directly to Kivior. Kivior probably doesn't move well enough to get it. Rice doesn't track the run of Goretzka. And Ben White doesn't keep up with Gnabry's run. Four occasions you can stop that goal. And not one of them happen. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, but anyway... Bayern's confidence will be up again now. By Mike Mignon, or Mignon. I rate him. I do rate him. Bring Trossard on. You can't gift goals like that. Kane plays over the top. Looking for Leroy Sané. Just can't quite get there. The confidence is up a little bit. Gnabry did celebrate as well. He did the stir the pot celebration. I was thinking against Arsenal. I don't know whether he'll do that, but he didn't give a damn. Man said, I don't care, bro. We loaned him out to Stoke or West Brom, was it? He probably don't feel that much of an affiliation to us. Jorginho on the ball. Ben White, two sliding door moments, yeah. Declan Rice, ball over the top. Sacco in behind Davis. Oh, Dave. No, Ganabri, sorry, recovers there. Corner to Arsenal. Come on. Come on. We've got to go again. Great defending that was by Gnabry. We have to go again. Sack a corner. Got to lift the team again. We've got to find a way to score. It was Raya's fault, 100%. He's caused a drop in our confidence. Poor defending. I don't want Kivio here next season. I mean... Anyway. Make up for it, Kivio. Get a goal. Saka in swinging corner. Can we score? Can we make it 2-1? We've still got to keep going. We're just back to square one. Saka whips in the corner. Of near post! It's bouncing everywhere! Can someone score? Oh, Neuer collects it. The ball was bouncing everywhere. Didn't look very convincing. Look at Neuer, man. He's all over the place. And it was nearly Kivior who got it. Ah. Kivior is our Eric Dyer, said TPF. And uh, Salman said, to be fair, I feel like Arsenal is competing with a big club again. Yeah, but the problem is, bro, look at Kivio, it does well. The problem is the away game will be more difficult than this. So we think this is a hard game now. The one in Germany will be harder than this. So we need to win this game. We need to win. Should be 2-0. Instead, it's 1-1. And that's those fine margins against better opposition. Here's Odegaard. Players need to get involved in this game. Martinelli's had the ball a couple of times. Lost it too easily. Jorginho hasn't been involved much. And we need Odegaard more. Here is Odegaard. Towards that right-hand side. He loves that little link-up with Saka, don't he? Look, too easy. Get up! You're the captain. You're laying on the floor. It ain't a foul. Sané makes a run off Kivior. Oh, Kane's pass isn't quite good enough. 
I said at the start of this game, and I'm not I don't want to single out Kivio, but in a game of this quality, you can't afford to have one player on the pitch that's a weak link. And uh, that run of Sane off Kivio is concerning. Gabriel gets him out of trouble there. We're going to have to score another couple goals, 100%. I would not be happy if we went to Germany at 1-1, not a chance. They're letting fireworks off outside the stadium. Apparently, there are um, Bayern Munich fans at the stadium. Luke said, well done, Kurtz, for actually doing commentary. Others just sit there on the sofa with mouths open. Oh, dear. Listen, each to their own, you know. Wish we had Timber, said South London's finest. Oof, risky there. Saliba finds Gabriel. They're not pressing our defence that much, but when they do press, it feels nerve-wracking. Like, like, here, Saliba's got the ball. Where's the option? Odegaard, why are you not showing for it? Come on. Good run by Saliba. Keep going. Ah! Oh, it's up in the air, Havertz. Don't foul. Come on, Ben White. Yes. No, he's give a free kick against Saliba. I've got to admit, man, Ben White. He's not started this game off great. Missed a great chance. And doesn't cover the run of Gnabry. Even there, he looked like he could have got the ball. But anyway, Neuer puts it out wide to Delict, Kept in by Kimmich. Can we put them under pressure? Force them to kick long. Sane, oh, he's nutmegged Kivio. Look, he's all over the place. I told you you can't play him. Great tackle, Jorginho. Sane, all the way. Penalty. Game over. I told Arteta, you can't play this guy. I said it. You will never learn, Arsenal. Saliba gives away a penalty. It's over. No, Jorginho should have won the ball. Gabriel. You're just falling over. It's a penalty all day long, mate. Kivy or the with the architect of our own downfall. It's a foul. It's a penalty. Like how many players missed that challenge? We've crumbled. We've absolutely crumbled. Saliba gives away a penalty. I'm not joking. Three players. Kivio misses the ball. Jorginho misses the ball. Gabriel misses the ball. And then Saliba gives away a penalty. Kivio, I told you, man. Leroy Sané, Kivio, not happening, mate. Harry Kane against Real. Oh, this guy's so good from pen on the penalty spot. We need a France penalty. Put it over the bar. I can't believe it. I, I shouldn't be surprised. This guy gets paid eight and a half million a year. He thinks Kivio's good enough to play against Sané. It ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen, mate. Come on, David Rail. Make yourself a hero. Where's Kane going to put this? He likes going left. Come on, David Rail. Against Harry Kane. Oh, he scores. Easy as you like. Sits him down. 2-1. You're getting what you deserve here, Arsenal. I'm not even going to lie. You're getting you're getting what you deserve. You don't deserve to... If you... Look, oh, Arteta, man. Kivio, bro. Kivio! Look at that penalty from Kane. Sits him down. We're done. Crumbled. Absolutely bottled it. Absolutely bottled it, lads. Should be 2-0 up. Shambolic. Absolutely shambolic. 2 1 down. How? That's the level of quality. Both goals mistakes. Saliba, penalty. Now, now we'll see what this team's made of. Ganabri ball over the top. Ray up. Come on. Now we'll see what this team's made of. Honestly. Don't fit these this team better not feel sorry for themselves. Nelson said, let's talk about biscuits. 
Yeah, I'm ready when you are, mate. I'll watch Madrid, Madrid v City. Both English teams losing. But we're at home. And we're not playing a team as good as them. Can't believe what I'm watching. But then I can as well. I shouldn't be surprised. Some of these players need to need to have a look in the mirror. They haven't turned up. I, can't, I thought Jorginho was going to win the first challenge. Sané literally cut inside and ran in a straight line. Do you know what? Kivio should have just fouled him and took a yellow card early. He got nutmegged. Cruyff turned nutmeg and then outpaced him and got away from him. Jorginho looked like he touched the ball, but it kept going in the same direction. Gabriel couldn't reach it, then Saliba fouled him. It's a comedy act. Let's see how good we are. Kivior at left back. People think, oh, you're trying to be smart after the event. I did a preview yesterday. I said Kivior should not be playing at left back against Leroy Sane. That guy is levels. That guy is levels. Tommy Asu's your best defender at left back, and you're not playing him. But anyway, I don't. I... Ben White finds Saka, finds Odegaard. Oh, you... it's an awful shot. Jorginho fouled. I can't. Uh, I need to get out of my this mindset. Samuel said Kivio is getting absolutely skinned. I'd drag him at half time. I take Jorginho off as well. Honestly, they, these guys should have started anyway. I said it. People in the comments, oh, Jorginho's done well. Kivio's had good games. He's getting rinsed. Come on. Havertz. Jorginho. Saka. No. Is that handball? No. Ben White gives it away. He's in. Leroy Sane. Could be one on one. He's one on one with the keeper. Odegaard can't catch him. Ben White. Oh, well done. Why did Sané not shoot there on his left foot? How is our defence so wide open? One pass and they're one-on-one. -on -one. Ben White rescued us there. Saka, oh my god. He basically elbowed him in the face. We're hanging on here, people. I'm telling you. We are hanging on. I said it. Jorginho is not built for this game, bro. It's too quick. We need to hang on. Get Partey on and get Tommy Asso on. Free kick to Arsenal. It feels so flat right now, don't it? It feels so flat. Midfield ain't doing nothing. Defence is wide open. Here's Declan Rice. Free kick. Whips it in. Gabriel header. It's wide. Oh, flat as a pancake. They haven't even got fans in the stadium. But you know what it is? You realise when you play against opposition like this. You don't take your chances or you make a silly mistake. You're done for. And that's it. We've had 61% possession. We should have been 2-0 up. Instead, we're 2-1 down. And that's the levels. You need calm heads in times like this. And we look erratic right now. Nearly 7K in the chat. Big up everyone locked in. Gabriel wins the header. Come on. Even Declan Rice. All of you. You've got to lift it. Come on, Saka. Don't let Davis do... Oh, why are you... Look at Bayern are getting an easy ride in midfield. And they now know Sané has got Kivior in his pocket. So they're going to just try and give the ball to him. No, not Meg. There's Kane. Wins a throw. It's too easy for them. Too easy for them. They've got into their zone and now they're calm. We're struggling to get the ball. We had them rattled at the start. My concern is if we lose in the Champions League, it's what it does to the league. 100%. We are that team, unfortunately. If one thing goes wrong, it tends to two or three things go wrong. We've got to find a way into this game. We haven't tested the goalkeeper enough. Declan Rice, not in this game enough. 
Jorginho, nowhere near in this game. Odegaard, he hasn't done enough on the ball either. The midfield's non-existent. And then Kivio's just getting cooked. And Ben White hasn't played well. And then Saliba gave away the penalty. There aren't many players playing well, to be honest. Odegaard against Musiala does well. Pass now, pass. Jorginho, come on, Rice. Where's these driving runs you've been doing in the Prem? Martinelli, you 1v1 with Kimmich. Take him on. Keep the ball. If not, now you're free against one. Keep the ball moving. we got to grow into this game and find any. That's terrible. Absolutely awful pass from Kivior. Kivior is a Europa League level player. I'm sorry. I've said it many times. Centre back. I don't know how good he is, so I'll reserve my judgment on him at centre-back. But as a left-back, you are absolutely having a nightmare, Mikel Arteta, if you think Kivior at left-back was the answer to a game like this. You have got to take him off at half-time. Martinelli fouls Kane, free kick. You've got to get that guy off at half-time. We, we don't look right. Something don't look right with the way we're playing. I, I would make a couple of changes. Here's Eric Dyer, clips it out of play. It's a poor pass. The worst thing about this is Bayern haven't even played that well. They haven't even had to. Here's Odegaard, gets tackled by Goretzka. Havertz gets his body in the way. Davis is a throw-in on the edge of the box. Come on, Havertz, give him the ball. Ben White gives it to Havertz. But, use your head, Ben White. He's offside. They're trying to give the ball to him for. Here's Saka. Come on, what you got? Here's Gabriel Magalhaes, 25 yards out. Was going to shoot Kivior. Gabriel, these players better step up. Saliba does well. Driving run. Finds Saka up against Davis. He needs a bit of help. Cuts inside. No, Davis gets it. Don't foul Saliba, man. They're under pressure. Throw into Bayern. Doesn't feel great right now, I've got to be honest. Five minutes till half time. This half's flown by. Oh, man. We were so excited as well. And um, it's still 2-1 to Real Madrid against Man City, but that's the least of our worries. Here's Gabriel. We need that equaliser. Midfield, yeah, there ain't enough bite in there, you know. Part A is the only one we got, really, that can do that. I need more from Rice as well. Like, you should be... He is quite strong. Here's Saka. Up against Davis. Plays it down the line to Odegaard. Throw into Arsenal. We haven't really tested the goalkeeper since scoring. That's the problem. I, I felt like that Saka goal went in quite easily. So, you've got to ask more questions of him. Here's Odegaard looking for support. What are you doing? Ain't the time for them flicks. Corner, though, to Arsenal. Come on. Oh, I'm trying to get the hype back. It just feels flat right now. But, yeah, well, a goal would get us back in it. But midfield ain't there at the moment. Saka in swinging corner. Can we get an equaliser before half-time? All too familiar feeling, Big CEO. We can still overcome. We need to equalise. And then he needs to make substitutions. Saka in swinging corner. The last one caused problems, but we need a goal. Saka whips it in. It's high. It's in the air. No! Oh, it's bouncing around. The referee gives a free kick to Bayern. Ah, oh, dear. Now they're going to control the game. That was a good corner. Ah, oh, it's half a chance. Where's the foul? I don't know where the foul is. Gabriel on the header didn't really make good contact. He gave a foul against Saliba. When you look at the lineup, David Rayo, first goal, he's partly at fault. Ben White misses a great chance, partly at fault. Kivio's getting rinsed. Gabriel gave the ball away. Saliba gave away the penalty. Jorginho's non existent. Rice ain't doing nothing, really. Odegaard's been quiet. Saka got the goal. We'll let him off. Martinelli hasn't done nothing. And Havertz hasn't really been involved in the game. So there aren't enough players who are doing anything. There's not. You can't win a Champions League game 
against Bayern Munich if eight of your team haven't turned up. And that's the reality. Too quiet. Here's Sacco. <coughs> He's having a good battle with Davis. Gnabry's helping him. Oh, he goes out for a throw. He should have played it back. Oh, but Arteta is still learning. Yeah, I ain't interested in that, bro. He finished his... Uh, and I know you're being sarcastic. He finished his apprenticeship years ago, bro. We're in his fifth year as a manager. Please equalise. Well, we need to shoot first. There you go. Gabriel gets the ball, plays it back to David Raya. That's what would have happened if David Raya was there when Gabriel chased the ball back. Instead, he was all the way up here near the centre circle. Trossard, maybe. Yeah, listen, I don't mind. You've got to do more than this. Um, here's Saliba. I don't know if Saliba got booked for that penalty. We're winning 4-2, says Jazz. Well, I hope so. I really hope so. We need to. But it's not great. It's not a great start at all. Deep down, I feel we're not going to get through this. Hopefully, we do. Hey, Kai's in the chat, Cruz. Big up, Kai, on Candy's account. Big up. He's a Chelsea fan, though, but we'll let him off. Uh, I want to see Jogger Benito. Yeah, what? Jesus. Minute till half time. The thing for me, we haven't tested Neuer enough. It's disappointing. Here's Saliba. Like, when Saliba's got this ball, where's the... Oh, my days. He puts it out for a throw. We're crumbling. Where is the leadership in this team right now? Odegaard, captain. Jorginho, experienced player. Declan Rice, future England captain. Oh, that's a foul. Saliba on Kane. Saliba, you need to calm down, mate. You're doing too much. You don't need to foul him there. Mikel better earn his wages at half-time, mate. It's all right doing interviews. And, you know, you're getting all the praise, but this is not good enough. This is not good enough. One minute added on. Stinky first half. After a great first, what, 10-15. Not enough players have turned up. Look, 1-2 again. Sané. Oh, Kivio manages to hold him up. If he'd have ran there, we was in trouble. Please don't do anything stupid before half-time. Bayern in possession, 30 seconds to go. Dineshen said this is a weak Bayern football heritage, you know. Stinks of a Wenger-type Champions League performance towards the end of his time. And White Glove said uh, our fans will say and will dominate. This is why people laugh. Listen, man, it's um, these are the big occasions you got to turn up. Come on, Ben. Come on. Saka wins the ball, Pet. It's Havertz. Chance just before half-time. Look at Alfonso Davis' recovery pace. It's ridiculous. And he's offside. He's offside. He's had an awful half. I don't want to hear nothing about Havertz. Havertz has done nothing. Half-time whistle goes. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Mikel Arteta should be ripping that changing room apart. Honestly, I know it's old school, but the kind of smashing teacups effect. I'll be looking at that team saying... Do you guys want to be top football players? Do you want to win trophies? Or are you happy just being called an exciting team that doesn't win anything? Because the way you looked in that first half, you don't look like you want to win trophies. You don't look like you're ready to win trophies. I said this on the preview yesterday on AFTV and people said, oh, you're being negative. I said, listen, I want to see if this team is capable of overcoming the biggest hurdle. It's great being good for three quarters of a season. Can you beat Bayern Munich? Can you win the last seven Premier League games? What, like, how are we losing that game? How are we losing that game of football? You've given them two goals. They've created nothing. Leroy Sané should have been tackled three times before he got that penalty. The first goal is absolute. I thought I was watching The Simpsons on Channel 4. I thought that was Bart Simpson in goal and Homer Simpson, Kivio. <clears throat> Defending that you would expect to see on a Sunday league level on the park. Kivio is not a, he's not a left back, bro. He's a centre back. It's Leroy Sané, bro. 
You coached Leroy Sané, Mikel. You coached him at Man City. You know how good he is. How can how can we sit here and think Kivior at left back is going to handle Leroy Sané? He's not. He went to Porto away and got cooked. He went to Luton away and got cooked. He ain't handling Leroy Sané. Take him off at half time. I'm so disappointed in that performance. David Rea in goal. What are you doing for that first goal? Why are you running off your line like that? You took away the option of Gabriel playing the ball back to his goalkeeper by running out like a headless chicken. So he forced him to play it down the line. His pass wasn't good. Kivior couldn't reach it. Declan Rice doesn't track the runner. Ben White doesn't keep up with the run. And the keeper gets nutmegged. It's pathetic. The goal is shambolic. The second goal, how many chances do you want to tackle Sané? I don't mind Kivior just wiping him out when he turns him and take the yellow card and just come off at half time. You got rinsed. He got nutmegged on the halfway line, outpaced. He couldn't catch him. Jorginho should have won it. Couldn't get there. Not quick enough. Gabriel was off balance. And then Saliba gives away a penalty. It's pathetic. If Bayern Munich did two great pieces of play, Alfonso Davis outpaces you and they score, Kane whips it in the top corner, I'll be disappointed. But I'll have, sometimes you have to fall back and say, yo, that's just pure class. We can't do nothing about that. The two goals are embarrassing. They're embarrassing. They're, they're absolutely avoidable. And we've caused our own downfall. I've said it so many times, people. I'm not afraid of the opposition. I'm afraid of Arsenal. And that's why I'm afraid of Arsenal. Because we've literally gone into a boxing ring and just punched ourselves in the face. You're lined up like, come on, let's go. And you've just punched yourself in the face and knocked yourself out. The other boxer's looking like, what are you doing? Like, you're right, Nelson. Arsenal 1, Arsenal 2. We're defeating ourselves. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Mikel Arteta, mate. You've got to do something. Anthony said, um, we need Partey and Tomiyasu. They should have started. I said it in the preview, but, you know, apparently Jorginho's done well this season, so we give him another game. He's done nothing in this game. Uh, and Kivio, I mean, come on. Eric said, do you like Frosted Flakes crunchy or do you let them sit in the milk and get a bit soggy? Got to be crunchy. Got to be crunchy for me. Um... Dylan said, uh, they are not better than us. How are we behind? Mistakes, concentration... Sam said, Kivior v Sané is absolutely criminal matchup by Arteta. Still 45 minutes to go. Tommy for Kivior, Jesus for Martinelli. I agree with that. Martinelli has not looked good today either. Jorge, how do you go from almost 2-0 to 2-1? That's what happens against top quality players. And Sniper said, sorry, but why can't Gabriel put it out for a throw? He doesn't need to though, bro. He shouldn't need to kick that ball out for a throw in. He should be able to give that to Kivior. But he needed David Rea because he's facing the goal. You want to play it back to the keeper. He doesn't need to kick that out for a throw, in my opinion. But it's just mistake after mistake after mistake. Um, we haven't dealt with the pressure. We haven't dealt with the... We're actually defeating ourselves. Um, Mikel Arteta, mate. You are on £8.5 million a season. You better earn your wages tonight. You better earn your wages, bro, because I'm fuming. I'm fuming right now with what I'm watching. That is embarrassing. I'm absolutely fuming at what I've just watched. I can't even keep up with the chat. The chat's absolutely flying. Eight and a half K in the chat. I'm so fuming with what I just watched. We've defeated ourselves. We've gone in the boxing ring and uppercutted ourselves. Big up the buy and view. Hey, good to meet you yesterday, bro. You've DM me on Insta. Yeah, I'll check my DMs. Big up. Goodbye and channel. He did the preview with Turkish Box to Box. Ulrich said Kivior doesn't work with a high line, no pace. Remember they put out this thing saying, oh, Kivior's broken the 40 yard record in training. So what, bro? You ain't going to put Usain Bolt at left back, are you? Kivior, bro. I told people. I know I joked about it. That Kiwi ain't ripe. That Kiwi ain't ripe. Sour. It leaves a sour taste. 
They got Alfonso Davis at left back. We got Kivio. It ain't going to level up, bro. Just because Pep plays four centre-backs at the back, we want to play four centre-backs at the back. Come on, man. Copy and paste settings, man. White glove, their squad is unbelievable. We should have settled more conservative. They are destroying our high press and forcing us into a mistake predictable. Best defence in the Prem. Every time they go forward, they look like they're going to score. Never seen our defence this open. The midfield is non-existent. The midfield's non-existent, bro. Jorginho can't get about the pitch. He's too quick. Declan Rice ain't even involved in the game. Odegaard ain't doing nothing. The midfield's doing nothing. The defence getting cooked. Because you're up against a quality opposition. You've got a massive weakness at left back. Two centre back. Nobody on that pitch is playing well apart from Saka. Saka's done well. Got Davis booked. Scored a goal. The other 10 players haven't turned up. None of them. None of them. This is the inexperience. Let's see what the manager's about. Let's see what this team's about. You will learn over the next 45 minutes whether this team and whether this manager is the real deal or not. We will see. Because the one thing you should learn is Bayern Munich haven't been that great. They look like they can be got at. They look like we can score goals. But now the danger is if we go for the goal too much, are they going to score against us? If we go 3-1 down, you could say we're out. It's unbelievable. It's absolutely... People saying that Gabriel should have kicked out for a throw, no chance. In that position there, he shouldn't need to kick the ball out for a throw. Just play the ball up the line. It's a six-yard pass to, 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 to Kivio. I don't know how they get that wrong. He could have just smashed it up the pitch. I get that. But Arteta doesn't want people playing like that. Maybe he did slip. I'm so disappointed in the team, honestly. I haven't felt this disappointed all season with Arsenal. Shaquille said, I disagree with you, sir. You're always stating that situation changes. You're a big believer of improvising. Gabriel should have cleared the ball. But I don't think he needs to put that out for a throw-in. Arteta wants us to play like City. You would never see a Man City player kick that out for a throw-in. I get you, he could have played it up the line with power and, and done it like that. But I don't know, man. I, I, I can't lie, I'm in my feelings. Like a Drake album right now, Marvin's Room. Cup to the Rose. Hey. Uh, I'm so disappointed, said Jeff. Why was Kivior so tight to Sané on the halfway line? It makes no sense, bro. Almin Aluminium said uh, they haven't taken it seriously. Kivio and Jorginho starting is criminal. Saliba has turned into Titus Bramble. I always say, bro, I love Saliba. Saliba, he's capable of becoming one of the best centre-backs in the world. He ain't Virgil van Dijk yet because he hasn't been in those pressure cooker situations, bro. And this is the pressure cooker. And right now, he's got his hand burnt in the oven. Do you know what I'm saying? This is the pressure cooker. Can you handle this occasion? And you can see with Bayern Munich, even when Bayern Munich went 1-0 down, they looked calm. It was like, okay, 1-0, can still get back into it. We conceded. It was panic stations. We look all over the place. But listen, I know, I know I'm ranting a little bit. And do you know what? I'm just so disappointed in how we're playing. Because Bayern don't look that good. And I can't believe we've just handed them two goals in 45 minutes. And I want to know, is this manager going to be brave enough? Let me get the tweet out. We have to step up. Second half. We need subs quick. Wow. I, do you know what? It's not the stuffing out of me. I can't lie. I was so hyped for this game. Now I feel flat as a pancake. Honestly. But this team can't feel like that. They've got to bounce back. They've got to try and equalise early. And then go and try and win the game. 
I'll take a one goal victory right now. I know I turned up looking for two and three. I'll take a one goal victory. Um, Kivio was not ready to receive the Gabriel pass. It wasn't that bad of a pass. How does Declan Rice let Goretzka run off him like that? Kivio off, yeah? What I think Rice does, Rice stands there to try and maybe block the pass, but Goretzka's making the run. So you've got, to, you've got to have your body moving at the same time so you're ready to go with the run. Because he's flat-footed, he's finished. As soon as Goretzka gets the ball, he's already on the move. Gnabry makes a brilliant diagonal run. Ben White can't keep up with him. Gnabry's quick. And then the goalkeeper gets nutmegged. It's just, you couldn't. It's just one after the other. It gets worse every situation. Maybe Deschamps was right at what he said about Saliba. I mean, I don't want to throw players under the bus, but we obviously have to improve, Jorge. Christopher said, see, this is chalk and cheese from the Prem. Even Sean Dyche wouldn't have played Kiv. I mean, listen, mate, he'd never play for me. He wouldn't get anywhere near this team. I'd rather play Seamus Coleman at left back, mate. And he's 745 years of age. Um, Kivio, I mean, I wouldn't even have him in the reserves. If he played for me, I'd have him in a headlock. And then I'd just DDT him to the floor, mate. Wheat bricks, wheat wood, wheat concrete. Um, Kivio v Sané, inexperienced in the Champions League, really evident. That mistake is... I spoke about it all week, but he's tried to be too clever. You know, Mikel, I think sometimes Mikel tries to be too clever he wants to look like a genius and um he hasn't looked like a genius tonight we didn't know what it's gonna be we know now we can do the arsenal thing now look they scared of us we let them in says silvino uh seymour said uh, there's a truck outside colney with humble pie for the arteta sexuals talking slapping up by and mickey will find a creative way to bottle it this year Marco said, we got 45 minutes, Big C. We've been better going forward. Need to be more clinical. We can do this. Big up the community. Also take Kivior off. Big up for the super chat and penalty spot. I don't want to hear that track, Curtis, because I know we've come to the end of the road. We need boys to men in the second half. Come on, you gunners. Sort it out. And Pokemon Go said, uh, this feels like West Ham all over again. And uh, Patrick said, Bayern Munich is no push. Stop. M m morning and believe. Nah, bro. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, he didn't. I better not be seeing what I think I'm seeing. He's done it. He's only gone and done it again. Oh, my days. You want the good news or the bad news? Let me start with the good news. Kivior is off. Do you want to know who's just come on? Oh, God. He's brought Zinchenko on. He's brought Zinni on for Leroy Sané. I mean, what are you doing? You've already spoon-fed him his dinner. Now you want to give him his dessert, brother. Use your brain. Nah, man, I don't care about Tommy not fit. He came on for 20 minutes. Why bring on Zinni instead of Tommy? I can't believe it. Oh, wow. You just fed the guy his dinner. And now you've got the dessert out and the spoon. And you're going to feed him even more. Honestly, I need to stay... I hope... Listen, Mikel, please. I hope Zinni gets on the ball and does the business. I'll reserve my judgment until the end of the game. We're about to get underway. Massive 45 minutes. Let me try and be positive, right? I don't want to start criticising him if he plays well. Then that's it. Big 45. Hit the like button. Let's go. We're underway, people. Things can only get better. They can only get better. Yeah. Come on, Zinni. Roll back the years. Bayern Munich apparently want to sign him. So prove yourself. Wow. I can't believe it. Here's Leroy Sané up against Zinchenko. How do you think this is going to end? Wow, he overhits the pass. Keeper collects it. Sim to result. You know when you're on FIFA and you just want to rush in uh, manager mode and you just sim the result and see what ends? Come on, please. This is crazy. Would you take a draw now, community? Genuinely. Would you take a draw? I wouldn't. I'm not interested. 
Find an equaliser in the first 20 minutes and then go for the win and get the winner. Time for us to stand up and be counted, but that Zinni news is stunning. I can't believe that. I know there's people in the chat saying Tommy Asu's not fit, but he came on for 20 minutes the other day. You know, he can't be that unfit. He played 20, now we need 45, but it is what it is. Thank God no away goals rule. Yeah, it's good. Come on. Zinni, my worry here, Zinni's going to step into midfield. Which means when Sané gets the ball, you're going to drag Gabriel over. So, But hey, let's just hope it works. If it works, he looks like a genius. If it doesn't, we got a big problem on our hands. But hey, I didn't like the fact Sané got 1v1 with Zinni already. Here is Zinchenko. Listen, the one thing we know is Zinchenko... He's, he has got qualities on the ball. We saw that last season. Here's Ben White. We need so many players to improve in this second half. Saliba finds Havertz. Right-hand side of the penalty area. On his right foot. Stands up to the back post. It's there. Goes across goal. No one's there. That's where Havertz probably should be. And Havertz is offside again. I told you this guy's not playing well. Or was it Martinelli? Who is that? It's Havertz. Second time offside. How are you offside there? You're looking across the line. Gabriel Jesus for Havertz in this second half, I'm telling you. Or for Martinelli even. In fact, I'd potentially take them both off. Oh, it's another stupid foul. See, Harry Kane backs into the defender well. And he looks for that free kick. And then he just kind of falls over on you and wins it. Gabriel fouls him there. I, I think Havertz and Martinelli would come off for me. I'd bring on Trossard and Jesus, and I'd take Jorginho off for party. That would be my three changes that come to mind anyway. Afsar said I'd take a two-all draw now. Possibly. I wouldn't, though. I wouldn't, but from this position, it would still look better than where we are now. Away goals rule doesn't count anymore, Jay. So it's fine. No problem. We need a striker desperately, 100%. 100%. Get the likes up to 5K. There's 7K in the chat. We had nearly 9K at halftime. Uh, it's a throw-in to Arsenal. 60,000 Arsenal fans inside that stadium. Look at that, man. See there, I don't know if you see these little things right. When the throw-in gets thrown there, Havertz feels a bit of contact and he puts his like head down as if to say, ref, free kick. Instead, he needs to be strong and try and win the flick on. It's not like he's winning the free kick when he does it. Here's Zinchenko. And look, Zinchenko's asking for movement. Jorginho, show for the ball. Odegaard, show for the ball. Zinni, good ball out wide to Martinelli. Great touch. Up against Kimmich. Kimmich slips. Martinelli lays it off. Odegaard, why are you dummying it? Why does he not hit that? Zinchenko into Rice. I feel we've wasted it. Rice, what are you doing? This ain't West Ham, bro. Rice does well there. Wins it back. Sane, win the free kick. He does win the free kick. Well done, Declan Rice. You need to wake up. We need our team to wake up here. Come on. Come on. We need a lot more. Anthony said, I wish we had Timber on the left. So do I, bro. O'Malley, does Mikel realise this is the first leg? And uh, Kibi said, uh, we've gone to 3-5-2. Well, it kind of is, yeah, when Zinni steps into midfield. It's kind of a three at the back. Bryn, hey, big up Bryn. Bryn, auntie, uh, auntie Arsenal and Bowser are in the chat. Big up Bryn, auntie Arsenal and Bowser. <laughs> He's a Leeds fan, stinky Leeds. We could do with some of their dirty um, play now. Billy Bramner. Come on, Rice. Free kick, left-hand side. We need a delivery here from Declan Rice. You order your dominoes, you need a delivery. We've ordered the dominoes. That is not the delivery. You've taken my large barbecue stuffed crust pizza to the wrong house, and now I'm starving eating beans on toast. What is that, Declan Rice? He put the free kick out for a goal kick. He must think we're at West Ham, bro, playing in the Conference League. What are we doing here, man? Come on! Deckers wins the ball back. We've got to score early. 
We got a score early. Come on. Let's lift it. I need to lift it as well. I can't lie. The energy. My energy is flat right now. That's what. That's not what they need. Save any discussion till after the game. Let me lift it. <sighs> Ooh, sir, let me calm down. I need to calm down. I'm in my feelings too much. I'm frustrated with what I'm watching. Martinelli up against Kimmich. So predictable, bro. It's a throw in though. Come on. Every player on that pitch needs to lift it by at least 10%. This is not enough. You're up against a good team here. Transmit the energy. We have to. We have to. We can get in this, man. Here's Declan Rice. Finds Zinchenko. Throwing was taken. Forced back. Keep the ball. Grow into the game. And punish them when you get the chance. Oh, my days. Zinchenko. What is that? You just kicked the ball out. I just don't believe what I'm watching here. What was that? We keep the ball for a little bit and this guy just kicks it out for a goal kick. He's under no pressure. Part A plays forward quickly. He needs to come on. He has to, but I bet he won't. Oh, here's Sané up against Gabriel. They've got numbers forward. He misplaces the pass. We are lucky there. Saliba carries it out. You man want to tell me about Havertz. What is that? He is playing. I won't say too much because I'll get in trouble. He spent more time on the floor than he has with the ball at his feet. I do. I need. This is why I say information and entertainment. Because you need comedy to, to be an Arsenal fan at times. You need a sense of humour. Where's our midfield? They're nowhere. This is hard to watch. Look at that. Odegaard, well done you. Zinchenko, do something. Do something! We have got to lift it. Come on. Come on. Thir what have we got? 32 minutes of absolute torture. But if we win, it will be worth it. But we've got to play better than this. Here's Ben White. Odegaard. What on earth is that? They can't pass the ball. He needs some snot on his hands or something because the, maybe it's his good luck charm. They can't pass. I need to take a breather, man. This is crazy. I'm too, in, I'm too involved in the game. I feel like I'm playing. They cannot pass the ball. Here's Jorginho. He's had a quiet game. He needs to come off. Listen, why are we so nervous? Jorginho's played in a Euros final. Sinchenko's won the Premier League. Like, you've been in games like this. Here's Martinelli up against Kimmich. He's done nothing against him so far. It's like he knows where he's going to try and go. Let's regroup. Here's Odegaard. Finds Zinchenko. Whips it in. It's a terrible cross. Oh, dear. Kane barges into Gabriel there. He's got his arm out. Maybe he's looking for a red card. Harry Kane gets a yellow. I don't actually. Does he do much there? I didn't really see it. You've just probably not one of his... Um... Oh, that's a bit naughty, that, you know. I think that's a bit naughty, you know. I think Kane knows what he's doing there. You've just not one of his um one of his teeth out there. He went Turkey and paid a lot of money for them. I think there should be a VAR check on that. That could be a naughty red card. You've not one of his teeth out. He paid thousands for them, Kane. Ah oh dear, free kick to Arsenal. Oh, I'm telling you, man, I think that should be a VAR check. He's done it again! Lee Judges, look! Bang! I think that's a VAR check for a red card. But they're not going to. I don't think they are doing a VAR check anyway. That that could have potentially been a red with a VAR check. But uh, it ain't going to happen, is it? I don't think they've even checked it. Come on, man. Ten minutes gone in the second half. We just haven't tested the goalkeeper enough. You know, Neuer looks, looked very slow on that goal. We need a few more shots. 
The veneers are all over the place. There's veneers everywhere. Still 2-1 to Real Madrid against Man City. I'll just turn no raise Rodrigo. Oh, they get the ball back. City. Come on, Arsenal. Here's Odegaard on the ball. I knew that miss from Ben White would... Oh, let's hope it don't, Ricky. Oh, terrible ball. Terrible. Rice can't get there. Here's Goretzka. Zinchenko doesn't move. Kane gets it out wide. Gnabry, Alfonso on the overlap. Saka can't keep up with him. Musiala finds Goretzka. Martinelli, what's that? Dragged wide by Goretzka. Shambolic. Absolutely. I would be dragging players off this pitch. Martinelli, what kind of pathetic challenge was that? Honestly, mate, how are you not winning the ball there? He just melts as Goretzka. Just, oh, mate. Get some of these players off this pitch. ASAP Rocky. Havertz. you got to be stronger, Havertz, bro. In fact, that's Martinelli. My apologies. He's had an awful game, Martinelli. Get him off this pitch. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. Weak, soft. You just, they just, they don't deserve to win if this is all they can can do. Come on, man! The fans have gone flat as well now. Zinni has come on and just given the ball away three times. He has won the ball there though. Off Leroy Sane. I'm assuming they would have been at Man City together as well, so he does know him. Oh, good touch, Odegaard. Does well. Come on, Saka. We need so many players. Saka played quite well first off. Straight line run with Davis. Not happening, mate. Not happening. you got to twist and turn him. Giving away, though. Come on, Jorginho. Pass. Turn. Come on, Saka. What you got? That's a foul. Free kick. Well done, Saka. About 30 yards out. Comrade Lehmer fouls him. Saka's down, holding his knee. Free kick, 30 yards out. Brad said, would you take a draw? I'm going to be greedy and say I still want a 3-2 win somehow. Um, that's a free kick. It's a bit further out than we would have hoped. I'm not sure we'll shoot from there. But yeah, let's see. Will they shoot, Eros? Thing is, I just don't know if we've got a player that can score from that far out against Noyle. Who really hits the ball that hard for us? I think they'll cross it. He's got to make changes. We're nearly in the 60th minute. I've seen enough. Cue the biscuit talk. I'm ready when you are, guys. I told you. Caramel digestive. It's probably my go-to. 6.6k in the chat. work. 3.1k likes. Legends. Really appreciate it. 31 minutes to go in this game. Arsenal 1, Bayern Munich 2. So Omar said, see, we are simply we simply aren't built for Europe. It feels like that, don't it? But let's turn let's change that opinion. Free kick, 30 yards out. Odegaard, oh, mate, honestly, if you do that again, I'm turning this off. You get a free kick, you load up the penalty area, and he chips it straight into Neuer's hands like the player ratings if this carries on are gonna be like a horror movie with what I'm watching on this football pitch. Martin Odegaard, mate. Oh, my days. Look, where's the reaction? You could all see it was a bad pass. Kane gets it out to... Sane up against Zinchenko. Corner of the area. Well done, Zinni. Well done. Martinelli, don't give it away. Pass. Pass. Don't panic. You panicked, Gabriel. You panicked. They're not built for this. We don't look like we're comfortable. We look uncomfortable, man. We don't look ready for this level. Honestly, we're so nervous. I've never seen us just kick the ball away like this. This is painful to watch. We can't string two passes together. I can't, I can't understand how we haven't um, made changes. I just don't get it. 
We've won the ball back, though. Oh, giving away. Jorginho. Get Jorginho off this pitch. Jorginho's had a stinker. I knew he wouldn't play well today. They're too, they're too energetic, too much movement. This is why Chelsea got rid of him for 12 million. Because when games get quick, he ain't built for it. Need a raccoon boy. Trossard is clinical. And Carl Martinelli ain't cutting it. You're right. Get, I'd take him off. Messlet, big up, bro. Appreciate the super chat. He says, come on, you gunners. I've got to try and find some energy. Come on. Come on, all of us. We need it. The team are just not at it. Brian said, watching from New York. Hopefully, you can come back here in the summer. Hopefully, bro. Come on. Here's Odegaard. 25 yards out. Lays it off to Martinelli. It's a terrible shot. Ball's bouncing all over the place. Saliba gets turned. Free kick. No. Referee says no. I thought that was a foul. Saka loses the ball. Is he strong? Come on. Be strong. Get stuck in. Come on, man. Don't foul him. Well done, Saliba. Don't foul him. Work. Work. They're trying. Come on. Come on. The fans are trying to lift them. They need it. I can't believe that Arteta has not made changes. Apart from Zinni at half time. You've got quality on the bench. Here's Saka. Gets on the wrong side of Davis. Davis recovers though. Saka whips it in. It's blocked. Ah, oh, Noya collects it. And now Saka's holding his leg. That's all we need. It's probably one. He do, I think he does this every single game, Saka, don't he? Every game he limps around like he's injured. It's too easy for Bayern, man. It's too easy. Havertz should be putting him under pressure. It's Eric Dial. I am trying, people. This is not easy to watch. Neuer clips it out to Eric Dial. Why are we just allowing Eric Dial to chest the ball down and play? Sane up against Zinni. Zinni does well. Come on, Martinelli. Odegaard, do something. Saka's made the run. Martinelli. Odegaard. Oh, we're surrounded. No, he's had to go back. There's no movement. It's not enough movement. Get wide. Here's Zinchenko. Declan Rice makes the run. Great ball. Declan Rice. No. Get up. Get up. Looking for a penalty. Ref says no. There'll probably be a VAR check. I think it was Martinelli. What is that from Saliba? Saliba's having one of the worst games I've seen from him. Havertz. Bro, oh, I, honestly, that is embarrassing. I would drag him off for that. Oh, mate, that's absolutely pathetic from Havertz. Honestly, what are you doing? You're in the penalty area with control of the ball, and you're looking for a penalty like that. Mohamed said, wake up, be counted, come on, you gunners. And Da Vinci said, watching this is like Bruno v Mike Tyson. At least Bruno put up a fight, bro. How are you watching this game as the manager? All right, good ball. Come on. Come on, Martinelli. Gets absolutely clattered by De Ligt. Goes out for a corner. It's a great tackle. Get up, man. There's nothing wrong with you, Martinelli. It's a throw-in, in fact. Down by the corner flag. Pathetic dive from Havertz. And they're bringing on Kingsley Coman. Kingsley Coman, I mean, it ain't going to get any easier, is it? Look at that touch from Odegaard. He's had a stinker he has as well. Look, Sané on the break. Oh, look. Too quick. Canabri up against Ben White. Davis has got away from Saka. Canabri over the crossbar. Pace destroys defences, people. They've got loads of it. We ain't got enough of it. Kingsley Coman coming on. Please just take Sané off or Gnabry. Sané's off. Thank, thank you. He's already done enough damage to us. These are the levels. You're bringing on Kingsley Coman. He's absolutely rapid. Sané comes off. We're sitting here not making subs. This is poor, man. I can't believe he's not making subs. 25 minutes to go. They're taking off Sané. Who's arguing. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Trossard and Jesus coming on. 
Martinelli off. Martinelli's been dreadful. Get Havertz off. I bet he don't. Or take Jorginho off. Maybe go attacking. Let's see who comes off. Trossard's on for Martinelli. Who's the other one? Jorginho, he's been awful. Absolutely awful. Jesus comes on. Havertz will probably drop into the attacking midfield role. I knew he wouldn't take Havertz off. He loves him. Havertz will play attacking midfield now next to Odegaard. That means Declan Rice is alone six by himself, but at least we're going for it. Jesus on and um, Trossard on. 24 minutes to go. We have not done enough to test this goalkeeper. That's the biggest problem. We just haven't tested him. Real Madrid still 2-1 against um, City. We're going to be wide open now. Rice is going to have to do all sorts. But then Zinni steps in. Here's Jesus. Gets the byline. Twisting, turning. Jogger Benito. Jogger Benito. No. Turns back. Pick a pass. Great ball. Declan Rice shot. It's poor. Deckers has not played well, man. Here's Serge Gnabry. That's such a poor shot from Rice. Work hard now. Come on. Neuer has possession. Put him under pressure. Ooh, that's not a foul. Everything's falling to them. Kane plays it in behind. Kingsley Coman. Zinchenko. Gabriel goes across. Slows him down. Kimmich. Kane, 25 yards out. Cuts inside. Shoots deflected. Goes wide corner. Oh, why won't he bring Partey on? Kane shoots from the edge of the box. Hits Declan Rice. Goes wide. It's a corner. It feels desperate. It really does. It's not feeling good right now, this game. It is painful. I just look at it. If you can't beat Bayern at home with 60,000 Arsenal fans and no away fans after being 1-0 up, how do you go to Germany and beat them in that atmosphere? You know, Gnabry's down, injured. Physio's coming on. There aren't... Yeah, we are. We, we are being tested. I think uh, maybe a lot of people have underestimated this Bayern Munich team. Saw them second in their league and thought, are they that good? Their front line's as good as anything in the Premier League, let's be honest. Sané, Musiala, Gnabry and Kane is an outstanding front four. Really outstanding, you know? Um, Gnabry's getting treatment. There's a break in play. People saying Rice has struggled. I think nearly every player has struggled today. Saka had a decent first half. Apart from that, no one's played well. Uh, tell the manager to stop watching the game for his telescope. Use his eyes. Uh, we ain't winning this or at the Alliance. City have equalised, apparently. Who scored? Bernardo lays it off. Phil Foden. Oh, my days. Wow. Phil Foden, top corner, 25 yards out. Oh, my word. What a goal. It's an absolute belter. Oh, what a finish. It is like so much in the top corner as well. That is unbelievable. Foden. People saying Foden's the real star boy. Listen, Saka's scored tonight, Annie. But that goal from Foden's unbelievable. It's a corner to Bayern Munich. Maybe we do need the Europa League. In swinging corner, Kimmich to take it. Ball whipped in at the near post. It's cleared. They were looking for a penalty there, Bayern Munich. Do you know the crazy thing about this game? What's so frustrating? I think if City, look at Odegaard grabbing Kane, man. You're not even looking at the ball. Um, if City played Bayern Munich, they'd beat them. I've, I've got no doubt. If Man City got Bayern Munich in the semi-final, they'll beat them. They'll control the ball. They'll punish them. They, they, it's just... We have not been good enough for 20 minutes to go. Bayern is ripe for picking. Says uh, Phil. Big C, I think Saliba's been good. 
Nah, he gave away a penalty, bro. He made a big mistake. Maybe it wasn't his fault, but it's part of it. Jerome said, 7K watching here, 5K on AFTV. Big up Robbie and the guys, man. We're trying, bro. We're trying, but... We need to we need to do better than this. Trossard, come on. Come on. Foden is cooking. Here's Gabriel Jesus. Have a pop. Why not shoot? Good ball. Saka. Heavy touch. Ben White on the overlap. Checks back. Guess it in. Ah, oh, see the problem you got now. Trossard, Jesus. Up against the lit and um Dyer. Those guys are good in the air. I don't think the high cross is necessarily the best option for us. I think you're better off whipping it in at pace low. Come on. Zinni on the ball. We need him on the ball. Oh, no, we don't. Not when he plays Pat. He's been awful. He can't pass. Mikel, you brought him on the pitch for his passing. That's your fault, man. Hold, you got to hold that. You brought him on for his quality on the ball. He's kicking the ball out for a goal kick every minute. Oh, he's 11 on AFTV. Oh, DR's 5K, apparently. Hey, listen, big up anyway. No, no matter how many numbers, none of us are enjoying the game anyway. Kingsley Coman, good touch. Zinni can't reach it. Good play there by uh, Havertz defending. Here's David Rea in possession. Zinchenko, mate, you've come on and give the ball away. Two or three times, just kicked out for a goal kick. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Come on. Here's Saka. 18 minutes to go. The closer we get to that 80th and 90th minute, maybe I would take the draw, but not at the moment. Oh, Ben White. It's a poor pass. Ben White's had an awful game today as well. He's been awful. Free kick to Bayern. They're going to start running down the clock. They're going to start running down the clock. Jesus was fouled there. Surely that should be a free kick to us. Is that Eric Dyer? Tottenham cheat. We got Mardi Ra. Yours is better than... Hey, big up. S. Ronnie said, we need a goal. Come on, you gunners. Neuer in possession. 17 minutes to go. Passing has been dreadful today. Um, Neuer kicks it long. We just haven't tested them, have we? We score in the first 15 minutes. Neuer doesn't get anywhere near it. I'm thinking, hit as many shots as possible. 3-2 to Manchester City. That's the levels, people. 2-1 down in the Bernabeu. Turn it around to 3-2. I think Vardial has scored. Here's the goal. Grealish up against Carvajal. Vardio on his right foot. Oh my days. Bends it in the bottom corner. On his weaker foot as well. Great goal. Bottom corner. Any chance of us doing that? 3 2 to Man City against Real Madrid. 2 1 down. Told you. They would cook this Bayern Munich team. Someone said Kevin De Bruyne's not even starting as well. Here's Ben White. Awful pass again. He's having an absolute shocker today, Ben White. He's been awful. He can't pass. He cannot pass the ball. I don't know what's going on with him. Is De Bruyne not playing? No, De Bruyne's not playing. How can you go to how can you go to the Bernabeu without De Bruyne and be 2-1 down and get back and beat them? Some real. Odegaard, he's been poor. Come on. Here's Saka. Come on. We've got to create that chance. Here's Zinchenko. 15 minutes. This game has flown by. Saliba gives it away. I told you, Saliba has not played well either. We have not turned up for this game so far. Saka's the only player I'm going to give a little bit of credit to because he played well first half. Apart from him, the other 10 have been garbage. Garbage, I'm telling you. All of them. Um... Dortmund and Heidenheim ripped these apart. I think they switched off in the league. I said that all week. Here's Saka. Here's Gabriel Jesus. Have a pop. Shoot. Go on, Trossard. Yeah. Yeah. Get in there, Trossard. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Trossard. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Toto. Game on. Brilliant play by Gabriel Jesus. 
I thought he should have shot. Great assist. Trossard. 2-2. Two, two. Yes. Jesus. Brilliant. Declan Rice. Brilliant. Winning the ball back. Saka, what a ball. Jesus. Oh, he sits down, Eric Dyer. What an assist. Oh, my days. That is world class, that finish, that move. Gabriel Jesus, he sits down Eric Dyer and Trossard bends it into the bottom corner. Get in, Trossardinho, lad! Come on! Yes! yes! Told you I'm not taking a draw. We're winning! Come on! We need to go to Germany 3-2. Free, um, free I, I put 3-2 there nearly as well. We've got to beat them. We have to. Come on! Come on! Come on, Ben White! Run! Come on! Throw it to Arsenal! They're round! Arsenal! 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 Come on! They're rattled now! It's like Rocky Balboa in Germany. You're losing to Drago. You catch him with the big hook, cut him, then he ain't the same. Ben White, you can't pass the ball! Oh, we lose it. Throw into Bayern. Come on! Trossard, I'm the... <laughs> Come on. What an assist from Jesus. Absolutely sat him down. Unbelievable. Wow. Come on, lads. We're back. We're back in business. I do not want to draw. We can win this. S. Runny said, I prayed and the gods answered. Oh, the God, dear fouls. Jogoba Nito to Beetlejuice, yeah. Free kick to Bayern in their own half. Come on. Let's go. I don't want no draw. We need to win this game. They've not even played that well. Trossard is so clutch, isn't he? He's so clutch, man. Said it the other day in front of goal. Probably the best finisher. Gabriel Jesus, mate. I thought he should have shot. He chopped back. Eric Dyer dived in. He rolls it to Trossard and just bends it into the corner. Just side foots it in. Go on. Go on. Work him. Work Odegaard. Now in next one. Yes. Keep it in, Saka. Saka, why don't you keep that in? You don't need to. Throw in. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Allez, allez, allez. Come on. We're going for him now. The Emirates is rocking. Late winner here, people. It's coming. It's coming. Here's Zinchenko. Let's do this. Zinni! What are you doing? You're a liability. You should never play for this club. How does he lose the ball there? He's so bad. He's absolutely dreadful. One of the worst players that we've had. Pep absolutely done bank fraud on us with that signing. He's just on the ball, jogging, just loses the ball. He's so bad. Gives me a headache. Concept said Trossard is elite inside the box. The Gabriel Jesus chop is becoming his trademark. It's the one that sent Dallo back to Portugal, bro. This brother Zinchenko, man, I swear. You brought him on at half time. He's, he's been, he's actually defended all right. He's terrible on the ball now. I used to say, oh, Zinni's good on the ball. He's garbage on the ball. Get that guy out of this football club in the summer. He's so bad at left back. It's unbelievable. Bayern have possession. Told you, Raccoon Boy Trossard is a handful. Calm and clinical. Let's win the tie. We need the ball back. We need to get the ball. It's hard to get the ball against teams like this. Gabby fouls Kingsley Coman on the halfway line. Free kick. I wonder if he's going to make any more changes. Big on my brother, Fran, in the chat. Told you, man, about Zinni rubbish. He's such a bad defender, man. It's unbelievable. So poor. Big up, Fran. Make sure you go and follow 10 trading. He's doing his thing over there, man. Big up, my bro. Can we use binoculars as an emoji? Oh, Trossardino. Get the likes up to 5K. Bring that positive energy, although it ain't looking good now. Musiala gets it out wide to Kingsley Coman. They got bodies swarming forward. Go to the ball. Coman cuts inside, shoots with his left foot. Terrible shot. David Rayot collects it. 
Fran's in the chat, man. Fran it shackle. Zim Zimmer is a problem. You're damn right. Let's go. Let's go. Here's Sacco. Approaching the halfway line. That's an absolutely awful pass. Gives it straight to Kimmich. Tried to switch play with his right foot. Didn't have the power. That's how you do it. That's the difference. Kane gets the ball out wide. Here come Bayern Munich. Ball whipped in. Blocked by Ben White. It's a throw in to Bayern. So poor that is from Saka, bro. He kicked the ball. It bounced twice before he even got there. Come on. Nine minutes to go plus time added on. We'll get a chance. Apparently Madrid have equalised. Yeah. Vinny chips it back post. Oh my days. Is that Valverde? Wow, the techers. Ooh, tech volley into the bottom corner. Madrid equalised. Three all. Three all and two all, man. Champions League classics. It's a pity they're on at the same time, but here's what it is. Come on, late winner for Arsenal. I'm calling it. I'm putting it out there. Oh, Ben White, you've been spun. Ben White's had an awful game tonight, honestly. Alfonso up against Saliba. You don't want Saliba getting dragged out into them areas. Musiala, they've held him up. S. Ronnie said, I'm sending good vibes for us to score again. Big up. Come on, you gunners. We look a bit tired. Could we do with a bit more... Energy, who could we bring on? Maybe Smith Rowe? He just don't seem to trust Smith Rowe in these games. Here's Fran's uh, link to his channel. If you want to go and follow him, big up that guy, D. Go and follow Fran if you want to watch his uh, content. Doing great stuff on his channel. Um, Bayern keeping the ball. The thing for Bayern, two all's a good result for them. Two could will fancy them to beat us in Germany in the Allianz. You know what I mean? So we need to actually go there and do something. Here come Bayern. Alfonso Davis up against Sacco. Not what you want to see. Musiala edge of the box. Good tackle, Martin Odegaard. Declan Rice wins a free kick. We'll take that all day long. We will take that all day long. Winner coming. D said he just subscribed to Fran. Big up. Go and support him, man. Go and support him. Doing great things over there. And uh, free kick to Arsenal, edge of the box. Can we get that late winner? <laughs> anyway, anyhow, people. A scrappy goal, a thunderbolt, a penalty, anything. I feel It feels so much better being back on level terms, but I just think we need to score the winner. Here's Declan Rice, move the ball. Looking for Saka, has he got the wrong side of Davis? Get at him, he's on a yellow. Back him up, twist him up. Yes, Odegaard, what you got? Looking for Ben White, Saka, what you got, fella? Clips it in, no one this, not a bad ball, Havertz. Could you have got that? Stay in play, yep, yeah, throw in. Box him in in the corner. That's not a bad ball in, you know. It's not a bad ball in from Saka. You want someone running onto that. Unlucky, throw into them in the corner. Yes, well done, Jesus. Goes out for a goal kick, though, unfortunately. Here we go, Thomas Partey. What took you so long, bro? Could have brought him on 15, 20 minutes ago. Six minutes. 7K in the chat, only 3.5K likes. Come on, community. Hit the, hit the likes, people. Bring that energy. Havertz off, Partey on. Gives us a better system now. Rice, Partey, Odegaard in the middle. In the 10 roll. Hit the likes. Let's hit 5K likes. Before the end of the game, bring that energy. We'll win this game, I'm telling you. If the energy is high, we'll get there. I'll see you when we get there. We're at three and a half K. Come on, let's do this. Um, goal kick to um, Bayern Munchan. Thomas Partey is on. Neuer in possession. What have we got left in the tank? Trossard, Jesus and Saka front three. Who's going to get the winner? Game's there to be won. Zinchenko, surely that's a foul. Coman gets away with it. Bayern on the attack. Musiala, don't foul him, Saka! Such a stupid free kick to give away. Don't need to challenge him there. You're on the wrong side of him. Free kick to Bayern Munich. What boots are they? You see them boots that Musiala had on? Some shiny boots. I don't know what. Are they old school Tiempo? 
I don't know what they are. I can't. Yeah, they look good, man. Some throwback boots. Free kick to buy and Kimmich is over it. Maybe he's the free kick specialist for them. This is not good. He's about 30 yards out, but who knows? Two amazing Champions League games. Arsenal 2, Bayern Munich 2. Real Madrid 3, Man City 3. Goals galore tonight, but can we get a late winner? Free kick to Bayern. Kimmich 30 yards out, at least 30 yards out. Looks like he's going to hit this free kick. No, they whip it into the area instead. Flicked on back post. Goes out for a throw in at the back post. They lined up like they were going to hit it with the right foot, but then whipped him with the left foot, so they changed it a bit. Trossard's down on the floor holding his head. I think he took a whack to the head. J-Dub said I subbed to that trading channel. Yeah, man, 10 trading. Fran, that's my boy. He knows what he's talking about. Addy, big up for the super chat. Collective pray we will win this. Bring that positive energy, people. Throw into Bayern Munich. Three minutes to go. Trossard's back up on his feet now. Took a whack to the back of the head. Come on, we just need that one more chance. One more big chance in this game. I believe we can do it. There we go. Mistake by Bayern. Throw into Arsenal. Come on. How many changes have we made now? That's... Zinchenko at half time, Trossard Jesus, and that last one, Partey. So Yeah, we got we got one left. But I don't think he's gonna make one. I just don't know if he'll make another. David Rea <laughs> finds Thomas Partey. That's calm. Nice. Don't forget tomorrow we're doing PSG Barcelona watch along. And Bappe FC. The dream is still alive. Until he signs for Madrid. We need to get him. Nah, we won't get him, but hey, be a good game to watch. Here's Ben White, who's had a very indifferent game, let's just say that. But if you can influence the winning goal, we'll forgive you. Trossard, left-hand side. Arsenal in possession. Trossard, oh, I was going to say good ball. He gives it away. Wow, that is brutal, bro. Partey just kicks him down, man. No messing around. That's probably what Kivio should have done to Leroy Sané when they attacked. That is brutal. That's like, bro, I'm not interested in running. You know when you're in school on the playground and a man runs off and you just clip his back foot to make them go across each other? He's done that. Man said, bro, I ain't got the pace to keep up with you, man. I'm clipping you from now. Oh, you can only make changes in three back. Is that right? Yeah, was it three? It might be, innit? So maybe we can't even make another change. That was a shame. Trossard was in a good position there. He overhit the pass into part A. And we end up getting caught. I actually don't mind that foul. You don't want buying on the counter-attack there with Kingsley Coman, who is rapid. Um, we are in the 89th minute. I would expect maybe four or five minutes added on. What is that, man? Man headed the ball backwards. What is that from party? 50 pence head. Here's a chance for Bayern. They've hit the post. Oh, my days. Kingsley Coman hits the post. Oh, what a, what a dummy by Jesus. Odegaard does well. Come on. Don't worry. It didn't matter. It didn't go in. Here's Trossard. Arsenal on the break. Zinchenko inside. He might not need him. Trossard gets it into party. Wow. Whipped in. Low at the near post. Kingsley Coman flicks it outside of his right foot. Hits the post and bounces back out. Karma. Oh, Partey's given the ball away. He's all over the place. He's headed it backwards, tripped someone up and given the ball away. He is in granddad mode. That's a foul. Ref says no. Brilliant from Jesus. Come on. That's a foul on Jesus. Give us. Ref says no. Are we going to create that chance? Every time we win the ball back, we're giving it away within our five minutes added on. We're giving the ball away too quick. What have they got left in the tank? Here's Neuer. Mm. Um, Cruz was like, oh, Cel Boston Celtics are playing the books tonight. Can I stay up till 12 to watch it? I'm like, yeah, stay up, man. It's the holidays. I might need to watch something else after this. Yanis against Tatum and Lillard. Wow, he nutmegged Rayo at the near post and hit the post. Unbelievable. Apparently Foden's injured in the City game, but I ain't got time to worry about that. Um, here's Zinchenko. I think they're in competitions, Zinchenko and Partey. Who can give the ball away the most? 
He's a Celtics fan. I can't believe it. But yeah, they are the best team in the NBA this season. But hey, it is what it is. Five minutes added on. We're a minute in. Ben White. Uh, the less said about that guy, the better. He's had a nightmare. Gives the ball away again. Saliba does well. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Zinni, Zinni! Zinni! Why can't you run? How does he not get that? Some of these players. Jesus done great since coming on, by the way. Zinni, are you running in concrete or what? You can't turn. Zinni, Ben White. Part, oh, part he's trying to play a diag. It's not bad. Saka. To be fair, Saka, Davis got booked after like 20 minutes. Have you really ran at him enough? Probably not. Maybe he hasn't had the ball enough. Havertz in midfield is like, oh, nah, 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 nah. But big up me. <laughs> oh, karma, karma. Relax, bro. Here's Gabriel Jesus. Can we get a late winner? One chance. One chance, people. Zinni's on the ball, so we'll probably give it away. Trossard lets it go under his foot. The amount of mistakes we've made in this football match is unbelievable. I like Trossard, you've come on, you've scored the equaliser. He's just let the ball go under his foot. We're so off it today. It's unbelievable. Throw into Bayern. Coleman, don't let him turn. Go home. Well done, Gabriel Magales. Get up, Coleman. Nothing wrong with you, you clown. Come on. Two and a half minutes to go. One chance. One chance is all we need. One big chance. Part A and Zinchenko. It's like they're battling each other to give the ball away the most times. Here's Trossard. Oh, he's lost it now, Zinni. Well done. Come on. We need to score. I do not want to go to Germany on a two-all draw. I'm not confident with that. We need to have a lead to protect. We haven't created enough. Zinchenko finds Trossard. Throw into Arsenal in the Bayern half. Come on, move. Come and get the ball, bro. The ball is like slippery. What are we doing, said Mohamed? What is that? Hooked up, go straight to Noyle. We haven't been we haven't been good enough to win this game. I can't even sit here and say we should have won. We haven't we've had two shots. I think we've had two shots on target and scored both of them. I don't remember Anoya making a save in the game. Am I wrong there? Three four shots on target. Maybe maybe long range shots or something. I can't remember them. Here is um, Zinchenko. A minute and 10 seconds to go, people. Let's go, Arsenal, said Meslek. Big up, bro. Come on. One final push. Let's find a way. Saliba. Find Saka. Cuts inside. Keep the ball. It's hard when Partey keeps giving it away. Come on, Partey. Come on. Odegaard, ref! No! Odegaard dived. It's not the time for that, Odegaard. You're the captain. Why? I don't understand why a player dives. This VAR, the, the like, you're you're 25 yards out diving. Why not run at him there? Arsenal still got the ball, edge of the box, 30 seconds left. Can we create one more chance? Partey gives it away, but Saka could be in! Saka takes it around, Oya! Oh no! He's dived! Why have you dived, Saka? Please! Why has he dived? Give us a penalty on VAR. Bayern are on the break. 10 seconds left. Here come Bayern Munich. Why would Saka dive? He takes it round Neuer. Ref blows full time, I think. No, he hasn't. He's blown full time. VAR. My question is Bakayo. If that, that has to be a penalty. I don't understand why Saka's going down there. I'm going to be honest. I think he's gone looking for it. Saka. You've blown it. You've you've ruined it. You've ruined it, Saka. I'm going to say something now. I think Saka's looking for the penalty. I, I think Saka can avoid his body. Why? Why? Bro, you telling me here Saka can't avoid... I don't think it is a pen. No, you don't do anything. He kicks him. Saka, Saka, you score, bro. Look at Saka's right leg. He kicks him. Just score. Just bang it in the net. 
You've made the worst decision of your life, Bakaya. I'm sorry. I'm sorry he's bottled it. You have bought... Stop limping off the pitch. You've just cost us the game with that decision. Neuer has stood there and said, I can't get the ball. I don't want to give a penalty away. Just slap it into the empty net. I'm sorry, I'm not defending him. Why does Saka not just go round him and score? Did he get sent off? Oh, mate. I'm sorry, people. I, I, I think Saka's bottled it. Some people saying it's a clear pen. I don't think it is. I think he's looking for it rather than just scoring the goal. You look at Neuer, he does nothing to foul him. He stands it. You're right. You've took it round him. You've done everything right. And then you've gone looking for the penalty instead of taking responsibility. I'm sorry. I, I'm not backing him. I, I think he should have scored the goal. He kicked... Oh, I don't know, you know. Looks a bit worse from that angle. Do you know that? Do you know why it could be a penalty though? Yeah, you know when Wamba Saka dives in the other day, he doesn't make contact with Elliot. Elliot makes his foot hit his leg, and he gets the penalty. I I just don't. Un I would be saying to Saka here, look at Saka's leg, bro. That's not a natural. That's not natural. He's kicking Neuer's leg. He's gonna score. You're there, bro. Score the goal. I can't believe what I've just seen. You don't understand how big that moment could be in our season. You just don't understand how big that is. Guys, I want to know what you think. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I don't think Saka needs to make contact with him. If you look at Saka, it looks like he puts the right leg out to hit Neuer's leg. It doesn't look natural. I believe he can avoid him and score. He's got a split second there to, to shoot an open goal and win the game. I, I think he's absolutely bottled it, in my opinion. But listen, I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a poll in the chat. Do you think that's a penalty or not? I think Saka's bottled that. I'm sorry. I've seen penalties. That that's not natural what Saka's doing there. He sticks the right leg out to look for him. But listen, I want the opinion of the community. I think Saka can just put that in the empty net and we've won the game. We're having a totally different discussion. Huh? What are you doing? Picture or video? Picture. Oh, yeah. oh, dear. I'm looking at it back because I can't believe it, but... I don't, did they even do a VAR check? Because it happened after. After the, the game finished, like when the game stopped. I'm looking at it again. I can't stop watching it. I don't know, you know. From certain angles, I can't lie. It does look a bit of a pen, but was that a penalty on Saka? I'm not going to lie, right? I just looked at it from that angle. I'm like, hmm, I don't know. Maybe it is a foul, but I do think he's looking for it. That might be the right answer. It could be given. It could be given, but I think he could have avoided it. I think he could have got round it. I think his legs... I don't think your right leg would naturally be in that position. But... I might be wrong. I could I could be totally wrong with it. I think it's a pen. He's running at pace. Clearly looking for it. Just stand your ground and finish. That gets given against us. No fans on phase. You'll struggle in the Alliance. I mean, listen, if we're if we're just looking at the overall situation. I mean, look, Fran. Fran's played hundreds of professional games, and he's saying he's looking for it. Get up. If I'm Saka, I'm sitting in my house tonight, disappointed I haven't got around him and scored. I feel he could have avoided him, but never a pen, guys. Come on, clear pen. Listen, we obviously can't break it down, but let's look at the let's look at the facts rather than fiction. We've drawn two all. I think that's a bad result. I think Bayern Munich are the are the winners of tonight to take us back 
Usman said Rio and the pundit saying it's a goal. Morpheus said you'll hate for Saka. Bro, I defended him for about five minutes on Saturday saying how much I defend him. Contact is contact. He leaves his right leg out. It's not a pen in the Champions League. It's a different story in the Prem. Bad result. Avin said just take your chance. Don't look for the pen. He has a chance to shoot. One thing I'll never understand with a football player is if you've got a chance to score, why look for the penalty? It doesn't make sense to me. I think he could have got around him and slapped it in the net and won the game. Instead, he sticks the leg out. But I don't know. Maybe naturally anticipating the collision. That's a good point because you're not going to stand there and let him just clatter into. I Listen, I don't know. I'll watch it back. I may have a different opinion tomorrow. At the moment, I just think he, I think he could have scored. Definitely a foul. Just take the chance. Saka bottled that. He got rocked. Martinelli. Yeah, listen. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I tweeted, why does Saka not go around him and score? He thought scoring was difficult, so tried to get a pen. Could have easily avoided him and scored. That's why I was thinking he didn't need to go down. Inexperienced. Someone said it's a clear pen. He was taken out, clear pen. Ah, interesting. And he is going mad after the game. The one thing I want to know, like, because I had the commentary turned down, people. Was there a VAR check? Was there a VAR check? I don't know what happened after the game. There. I, I was thinking he'll do a VAR check after the game. It looked like he just blew the whistle. If the Sané contact was a penalty, that was also a penalty. Tough second leg at the Alliance. Very tough. So Vino, that game was open, box to box. We stand our ground, need to dig deep on the flight. Kishen said, clearest penalty ever. VAR strikes again, see the replay. Next game, we need to start Tommy Asu and Partey, although Partey looked horrific when he came on. On a positive note, uh, what was that? South London's finest said, on a positive note, um, can we beat these man, two stupid mistakes? Well, the problem you've got is that it's a harder game in Germany. There was a VAR check. VAR said no penalty. But then Nigel says no VAR. Was there a VAR check? Because that's just, surely there has to be a VAR check. Was there a VAR check? VAR check. Um, the elbow and penalty. Saka, no penalty. Yeah, people saying there was no VAR check. But then someone saying he was told... Do you know what? When You know when you look at the still image, it does look bad. It does look bad. And Neuer's leg does kind of look out. It's just that it's a strange one. It is a strange one. Still images always look worse. When you look at that, it does look like Neuer's stretching the leg out a bit. So, you know. They didn't like show the replay of VAR checking it, did they? Maybe they don't in the Champions League. When you look at that picture, it doesn't look good. I, I have to admit, I'm surprised. You've seen them given. Oh, man, that was the chance. I said we'd get one chance, and we got it, and we didn't take it. Maybe it was a penalty. Listen, my initial thought was, to be honest, I think he could have got around him and scored him the open goal. But I... In the modern game, I think you do get given them, but still images are not the same as video, you know? So, I'm so disappointed. I feel like we've just, we've wasted an opportunity to beat them. I don't think they were that good. Fredo said, uh, I'm I'm a forward, I'm going for glory, never looking for the contact. These man's always looking for power. I don't get it. If I, I would do everything I could to get that shot off. I think it's a modern game thing, isn't it? If, if somebody's got a leg out, go looking for the leg and get a foul. I would have tried to have got round him and just slotted it, but I don't know. Definitely had a chance to chip. That's the issue, said JW. Uh, Alfred said, result isn't terrible. Bayern will actually come out to play more next leg with no away goal. Cliff said, in a, in a mistake-laden game, grateful for the point. Causa said, godlike pass from part A, definitely a pen as Neuer's leg out. Zinni opened up the game. <laughs> I didn't realise, yeah, was that part A who played that pass? 
And F said, in fairness to Saka, he got stick for not going down for the pen at Anfield. Does today, doesn't get it. He can't win. Not too mad, though. 2-2 two, two is a fair result. Christopher said, if by some miracle we beat Bayern, no way we beat City or Madrid based on the Champions League form. Quality stream got me through this. City. Love big up the community. It's a, it's a tricky one. It is a tricky one. Now, fans aren't banned in Germany. They're back. They're back for them. Salt and Pepe said, Saka was looking for the pen, forced the contact, bottled it, didn't deserve to win the game. Unfortunately, need to be better. Hype said, if you play it back, you can see Saka sticks his leg out to make contact. I think... My thought process is this. I think Saka could have tried to avoid him and scored in the open goal. But I think he knows Neuer's in no man's land. Maybe there is a bit of an outstretched leg. And I think Saka leans his leg towards Neuer's leg. Now, in the modern game, especially in slow motion, especially with still images, what I will say is that they are often given. If the keeper went over and looked at this picture as a still, still image, he would give that penalty. Because it looks like Neuer's legs out a bit. Saka's being hit. It looks like a penalty. I think when you play the video, I think Saka was looking for the penalty. I don't think he needed his leg to make contact with Neuer, but I think in the modern game, they do get given. But I honestly believe if you had a conversation with Saka tonight, you would say, Bakayo, I think you could have avoided him and scored. I think you could have got round him and put it into the open net. So, I, I don't know. I would say, I think he should have tried to score. But I have seen them penalties given. But, don't rely on the referee giving a penalty. Score if you can, before looking for it. I think the modern game, I've heard coaches say this to young players in academies. Um, if a leg's out, go for it. If a leg's out, go looking for the leg. Go down. If there's contact... I, I'm I'm from a generation. You try to avoid, you try to avoid contact. This generation, they try to get contact. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm disappointed. Tommy Asu, great moment. Um, Trossard, sorry, great moment when he scores. I said we'll get one more chance, and we got it. And that was it. That was the chance. I don't feel happy with a two-all draw. I think we needed to beat them, and I think they were there to be beaten. And I think if Manchester City play Bayern Munich in the semi-final, I think they'll beat them. I think they'll beat them. City and Madrid drew free all. Um, I don't feel happy with that. I just don't feel happy with that result. 2-1 down, yeah, I would have took it possibly, but... Are they showing? What are they showing? Trossard's goal. Great goal. Rice wins the ball back. Trossard into Saka, Jesus outstanding. I did chops two players. I did say the other day, you know, Havertz up front is not certified for the rest of the season. I still, I, I'm looking at tonight thinking Jesus might be pushing him out of the team up front, and Trossard might have to play left wing as well. So then, what? Ah, listen, mate. Trust me, if you've played at any level, there is a little bit of um conversation to have there do you think we'll have a hangover for Villa Villa play on Thursday so I'm not giving them any excuse for that does leave a sour taste it does could have won should have won Trossard is Oli Gunnar Solskjaer off the bench Tommy Asu should have played uh, Arteta got it horribly wrong at left back I said it all week there's no way he should be playing uh, Kivior Kane's doing an interview now. Mr. Cool Bus Driver fans need to stop bias. Point out blatant cheating. Should have taken the shot. Not a fan of him. And back pay for Saka and Hale End. Havertz didn't play well tonight. Play Trossard centre forward. I don't think it's therapy tomorrow. We got an opportunity to go there and win. Dortmund beat them there the other week. But I think the next game will be harder. Like you said though, the positive... No Alfonso Davis. He's suspended for the next game. Um, so I don't know who their number two left back is, but he's not going to be available. So maybe opportunity miss. Curtis, slow your roll. That's a pen in the Premier League, but this ain't the Premier League, bro. 
So we've got to separate, haven't we? What happens in the Prem and Champions League is different. There ain't no point dwelling on it. Do you know what? Right, listen. Let, let's get down to business. I want to talk facts, not um, not ifs, buts and maybes. Was it a pen? Was it not a pen? Could Saka have got round him and scored? Could he not? What we've got to look at is... We've played tonight. We haven't played well, which I, I genuinely believe we haven't played well. Real for the goal, doesn't cover himself in any glory. Ben White was poor. Kivior got cooked. Gabriel and Saliba looked shaky. Jorginho was off the pace. Rice wasn't involved enough, did okay second half. Odegaard was not good enough on the ball. Saka scores a great goal, could have scored a second. Or maybe should have had the penalty to score the third. Martinelli was awful. Havertz was non-existent. So let's be real. How many Arsenal players have played well tonight? Honestly, Gabriel Jesus was up there as our best player today. And he came on for like 25 minutes. Saka was probably our best starting player. And then and then Gabriel Jesus. Uh, you know? You look back on games like this and it's about fine margins. When you play better opposition, it's fine margins. Ben White should score, make it 2-0. Hits it straight at the goalkeeper. Three minutes later, we're 2-1 down. The goal was completely avoidable. Rea shouldn't be that far off his line. Gabriel rolls it back to him. No problem. Instead, he's too close to him. Tries to play it down the line to Kivior. Kivior's not ready for the ball or not on his toes. Rice gets caught out by the run of Goretzka. Goretzka finds Gnabry who gets a better run on Ben White. And then he even nutmegs the goalkeeper. So that goal is completely avoidable. That goal is avoidable. Then you look at this, the penalty. Kivio gets spun. Could have fouled him. Doesn't keep up with him. Jorginho could have won the ball. Doesn't reach it. Gabriel can't. Saliba gives away a penalty. And Kane scores the penalty. Totally avoidable. What I will say. What I will say as I round up. I'll have a fan cam out in around 15 minutes. Um, I am disappointed with two all. Because I feel like Bayern are now favourites to beat us in the Allianz Arena. But, at 2-1 down, if we'd have lost that game 2-1, I would have said the tie's over. I don't think we would have done what was necessary in Germany. To play that bad against a team of that quality and get out of there with a 2 all, it's not the end of the world. The positive you've got to take out of it is... We can play a lot better than we played tonight. We can play a lot better. There's eight or nine players who haven't turned up for us tonight. So Zinchenko comes off the bench, gives the ball away about four times. Kivior got destroyed. You've got to play Tommy Asso at left back. You've got to get Thomas Partey fit and get him in there. Partey came on and was awful. Kept giving the ball away. But that ball that he plays to Saka is the reason you want him in the team. Because when he's fit and he's sharp, he can play that ball. Everyone's going to focus on the penalty. And I get it. And the still image, it looks like a penalty. And you've seen them penalties given. My initial thought was just... He could have got round him and scored. He could have got round him and scored. But... When you rely on a referee or VAR, you're relying on somebody else to help you. And you can't rely on VAR. And you can't rely on referees. And that's my problem with it. People will say, is it a penalty? I'm not sure if it is or not. I would have liked to have seen Saka try his best to get round him and score. I've been in that situation. Goalkeeper comes out. You can avoid goalkeepers sometimes and put that in the net. But at the same time, VAR does give them. But you can't rely on VAR, unfortunately. It's not it's not a product that works properly. So it's it's um it's disappointing. I feel like we could have won that game. I really do. But it was decisive. It was the last moment of the game. Was there a VAR check? I don't know. Some people online are saying there was, some people are saying there wasn't. Um, if we're talking of dives 29, Havertz was awful. Spent most of the game on the floor looking for free kicks. I'd drop him. I think it's time to get Jesus back up front. Uh, Martinelli conversation. He was absolutely awful tonight. Player ratings tomorrow. We'll go into more detail. 
Charles said, good VAR, go with the on-field decision for subjective. Unless they think it's blatant, they won't overturn it. And Sam says, Martinelli disappointing this season. You're right, he hasn't been good enough this year. Um, let's end the poll. Let's end the poll. Do you think it was a penalty um, on Saka? 58% uh, say yes, 42% say no. I think that tells you that people... It, it, it's subjective, it's opinion. Do you think he could have got round him? Was the right foot in an unnatural position? Or has Neuer stuck a leg out and brought him down? That's going to be the discussion. I like to focus more on, on our own selves. We have to play a lot better than that. Alfonso Davis will be suspended. Vegas Gunnott said, um, Jesus needs to start in Munich. Only player we have that can make something out of nothing. No matter how bad he plays, he can still punt. <laughs> yeah, what he said, but hey. No diddy, no diddy, people. Uh, people, what I want to say is a big thank you to the community. Let's talk facts only. Um, fantastic stream tonight. Disappointing result in the end. Um, like I said, the positive is we've played poorly and drawn the game against Bayern Munich, who are a top side. We need to play better than that in the next leg. 4,000 likes in the chat. Really appreciate your um, support as always. Absolute legends. And um, who's that? Oh, let's give a shout out. I give a shout out to Anthony. He plays for Cruisers football team. It's the 11th birthday today. Big up Anthony and Peter and Aga tuned in and Timmy as well. Big up to you. Uh, and happy birthday to Anthony. Take care, people. Uh, great numbers. Fan cam will be out in 20 minutes. 2 p.m. tomorrow. We'll discuss the game in more detail. HR said it's all about mentality. I'm not confident going to buy and we're not at that level. It's all to play for, people. Take care, everyone. Bless! Yes! <laughs>